Welcome to the boardroom. I am the chairman, Etep Wakuyan, right here in the place to be reviews. Good Wednesday evening, Wednesday, December 4th, 2019. I am joined by fellow boardroom members, the director of marketing, Salvador, the Don of Two Cents Toys, in recent crosser of 100 subscribers. He's up to 105. Ladies and gentlemen, Salvador. Hello and salutations. Yesterday I crossed the threshold, or I guess it was last night while I was asleep, crossed the threshold of 100 subscribers. So I'm finally going to sit down and claim my backslash YouTube name. And I'm very happy for all the help that I've received. Very grateful. And I wouldn't have done it without all of you, especially here on the boardroom and world class. But you're going to listen to me bitch about toys for the next hour or so. So strap in, folks. This is a starting line. <laughs> Well, man, I'm glad you're here. Congrats on that 105 mark. You're gonna have to show me how that backslash works because I have it for mine too, and I I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. But next is our resident Florida man. He is the he is the main man when it comes to the supernatural and the Florida man stories, ladies and gentlemen. Commander Cody from Goober Brothers Entertainment. Hi, I'm Cody from Goober Brothers Entertainment, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> and joining us soon will be my brother from another mother groovinator from raiders of the lost flicks he's running a few minutes behind but that's no worries no hurries as long as he gets here safe and in one piece we are all g double o d good be sure to bitch slap that like button for me if you could or slap bah. and if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe to the channel and ding that bell for notifications so you know when I go live, upload a new video, or we have a boardroom meeting here on the channel. Now, <laughs> you said oh. ding. <laughs> ding. That reminds me of that family guy scene where they're all getting, uh, they're all getting wood from the Black Knight's girlfriend yeah. and, yeah, in the jousting <laughs> episode. And Mort just goes, ding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But before what is I go that? It's a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> before I go into cutaways on cutaways on cutaways, I... I'm going to toss the mic on over to my man, Salvador, and he is going to talk a little Black Friday shopping, and he's going to rant about toys, and Salvador, take it away, my man. All right. First disclaimer, I am uh, very under the weather, and I cannot breathe out of my nose, so if you hear a lot of heavy mouth breathing, yes, it's me, but please don't call the cops because I'm not the one calling you and hanging up, I promise. <laughs> um, so... First off, Black Friday, right? It's been in our lexicon for a few years, uh, for as long as I can remember. I mean, I don't remember the birth of it, but as far back as I've researched, it was first referenced in like the late 1800s. Uh, it was called, God, what was it? I don't remember now. But essentially, it's to mean uh, where companies transition from the red, which means that they're in a deficit, to the black, which means they're making profit. Because there's usually a midsummer lull where business isn't so good and then it picks up for the holiday season and they realized back, you know, however many years ago, there's a huge uptick in shopping the day after Thanksgiving because families are together, right? So you have all your out of town or families, they all come in, people will go to the store, they'll buy the Christmas gifts, hand them off and be like, okay, go have fun. You know, so that way it's, it's, you know, a lot easier. Like if you got your aunts, uncles in to buy their presents while they're there, wrap them, hand them off, go open them on Christmas. So kind of makes sense to go shopping, you know, around that time. Now, with that being said, Black Friday is completely a sham. Um, I'm a bit of a sucker for it to a certain degree. I bought a television uh, this Black Friday. And let me tell you a little secret about these televisions, right? Excuse me, I'm uh, sucking down too much air while I'm trying to breathe. So, 
Um, the oh, TV's sorry. like, God bless you. Amen. <laughs> um, so, like, for example, this 50-inch Samsung TV that I bought, I'm like, wow, that's a great deal. And it is, to an extent, except they're typically either last year's model, or B, they are a model of lesser, like, instead of having four HDMI imports, they might have two. Or, in some case, one. But these specific models are flown to Walmart, Target, Sam's Club, wherever you're shopping, specifically for Black Friday. That's not a model that they typically carry, so when you buy it, if it goes bad and you try to return it, they have nothing to give you. So, with that in mind, I bought it anyway because reasons. So, <laughs> that's why Black Friday is ultimately a sham. Like, same thing with computers. Like, oh, it's a, I don't know, HP whatever. Well, the RAM, instead of being a terabyte, might be a fucking 500 gigs. I meant to say memory. So, it's always going to be something... There's a reason why it's cheaper, but you're usually paying about the correct market price for the TV you're buying. It's just it's cheaper than, you know, something that looks the same. So Black Friday is a bit of a scam. I know this because I've worked in retail. And in the electronics department on top of that. But um, that brings me to, of course, director of merchandising, toys. Uh, there were almost no toy sales this time. Like, there, there were some... Like, uh, Target had, it was like, buy one, get one half off, or buy two, get one free, but it was on Transformers, Barbie, and something else. I don't remember what. And most of the deals for Star Wars uh, that I found were buy two, get one free, but the, uh, <laughs> the so Target, you know, you can buy it and go pick it up in the store, right? Same thing with Walmart. Well... All the online stuff was, you know, all the good shit was sold out. All that was left were, like, the Han Solos and this and that from the movies that flopped real bad. So you could buy two of those and get one free, but all the good stuff was, quote-unquote, sold out online. If you went in the store, though, they had it, but the deal didn't apply in store. It was only online. So there's that. But I found a Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth, like those, the big toy online retailers had their sales. Uh, Entertainment Earth actually, or I'm sorry, Big Bad Toy Store has what they call Black November, so the whole month of November their stuff's on sale. And that's generally stuff that's been out for a while, and the price markup was too high, and it's been sitting there, or it's just, it, most of the stuff that goes on sale for toys is either a year old or has been out for some time, and they're trying to clearance it out because no one bought it. Story of our lives. Huh. And that's that's all I got for you, because I'm uh, my brain's shutting off from lack of oxygen. <laughs> That's all right, man. So you got a TV, and what uh, what uh, what figures did you pick up on Black Friday? Oh goodness! Back uh, myself on my headphones. Camera on, so y'all can appreciate my my sand troopers. There we go. Light on so you can appreciate them further. Ooh, uh, so I love first that off, I'm Amazon expecting that middle one to start dancing. Oh, yeah, the middle one. I actually built this on the two live streams last Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but this was sent to me from Amazon in a padded envelope, so it came looking like smashed dog shit. Oh, that's bullshit. That. Yeah, oh. and it's you know not one of a kind, but it was the only one they had on their website, so I'm a little I'm a little salty about that. But let's move all these assholes out of the way. <laughs> I can say I am fortunate enough to every figure that I've gotten on Amazon that has came in a box. Yeah, for the most part, mine do come in boxes, even if there's no, you know, inflated air pockets or bubbles or whatever they're called. Mm. But they at least show up the correct way somewhat. So let's see. First, I picked up uh, this fella for reasons I don't understand. He just looked really cool. Got him at GameStop. They were doing half off Overwatch and half off something else. And I thought he looked really cool, so I bought him. That's how toys should be. Let me see him again. That's, that's his name's Reinhardt. I don't play Overwatch, but that looks cool. I I, I, I don't I've never played it, but yeah, those I've seen some cool figures. That was pretty neat looking. Yeah, I've never once played Overwatch, but I thought he was cool, so I got him. 
Uh, let's see here. Oh god, I'm choking myself. Uh. <laughs> Don't go all Caradine on us. <sighs> so, then I picked uh, this guy up, our favorite. Can't dude, bro. Bro, like, it's Freddie it's, Prince. It's, wow. It's dude, like, bro. Dude, so, bro. <laughs> the store where I picked him up, uh, their new price tags are white. And yellow is to indicate used because it's a like pop culture, comic book, toys, movies, what what have you. Mm -hmm. He was on sale for five dollars. So I, damn, I scooped that that cane and jars that same figure. Uh, mm -hmm. I got that about I think it was like a year or so ago at what is it? Um, oh, like a um, I want to say it's some freaking little store. I can't. It's like a it's a chain of like retail stores, but it's lower. I I picked it up for like two fifty. Something nice. stupid, yeah. Because I was like, I don't really watch Rebels, but I'm like, I saw that figure, and I'm like, he can just be a stormtrooper, whatever. Exactly. He's got a pauldron. Like, you know, he's a commander. He's got a pauldron. He's close enough to a sand trooper. I'll yep. make it so. Yep. <laughs> I picked Ooh. up this. Oh, I, I got like with my. Uh, that was cool. I go with my Luigi. Hell yeah! Hey, <laughs> hey, it's yeah. a Luigi. Yep. He was twenty five bucks, but they had the sale going on at GameStop where. Uh, basically, you buy a bag, and everything that can "quote unquote" fit in the bag is twenty five percent off. But it's not everything that can fit in the bag. It's just basically they scan the bag, and anything they scan after that that's a toy or collectible, you get twenty five percent off. Okay. So I picked up that. Let me dig through my rucksack here. <laughs> we picked up this uh, Luke Skywalker. He's from the uh, Marvel comics that. Uh, happened after the acquisition but okay. if you open him up and you get luke skywalker on one side you get the lightsaber the training visor the little ball droid from the death star and some books or whatever oddly enough there's no plastic in here so if you wanted to you could just like oh i want the helmet and pop it out and now it belongs to you huh so <laughs> that's odd packaging yeah 40 bucks uh caveat to this so this is obviously the yavin uh, ceremony garb yeah. that he's wearing. If you want the Yavin ceremony look with the metal, you have to buy the other one, the Black Series 100 number, to get the same figure with the same blaster, but with the metal. But you don't get anything else that comes with it. Funny enough, on that the Black fuck? Series, yeah, they misspelled Luke Skywalker twice. What? <laughs> on the on the front, I'll look it up. I'm not lying to you. On the front of the box, they say Luke Skywalker. <laughs> They put an extra W in his name, and on the back, it's Luke's uh, squawker. They <laughs> why. So, oh I my feeling, god, I have a feeling they're gonna re-release that figure with it spelled correctly, and there's gonna be those collectors that are like, "I have to have the myth print. I gotta have this one and that one." It's gonna be like the Luke Skywalker with short lightsaber, long tray from the '90s. <laughs> so, uh, these were technically Black Friday. Speaking of that, I have the Battle of Yavin three and three quarter where it doesn't don't the proportions look off on him? I thought his legs look short and stumpy compared yeah. to his body. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But I got Are you him. gonna take it out of the package? Uh, eventually, yeah. I'm gonna do a comparison between him and the Skywalker and the uh, other one I just showed you when I get him. <laughs> uh, Walkwork. Skywalker. Um, uh, Luke Skywalker. This one up oh, well, it's Quippy. Quip, Quipkey. Yeah. I picked this one up at Walmart. It is a, basically, it's a re release. They started doing photo real tech. So it says photo real tech face. And it's a Walmart exclusive. And I was able to get it because the package is smashed dog shit. Yeah. And there's enough collectors that are, you know, it has to be in mint, in mint condition box. And I'm like, this is the trash that separates me from my toy. So yep. I got the figure. And I'm happy about that. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, yeah, some of these are a little older, but I'll, I'll count it all. I got this sweet ass Sub Zero. Whoa! Oh, that's dope. Yeah, I don't oh, know shit. anything about Mortal Kombat 11, but I love translucent <laughs> figures, and this is speaking to me. Yeah, so, shit. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, that GameStop. Yes, sir. Oh GameStop my god! I do believe. I need to go to GameStop now. There yeah, used to be one right by my house, like here in Holt Lake, but it closed down. Yep. I uh, from the same store. I got Kanan Jarrus. I got this reaction. Oh, three cool! Three yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The yellow stickers. Oh hell yeah! Oh nice. So, yeah, we got that. 
we got a, a loose baggy morph from the X-Men line. So I'm all about morph. Yeah. Or no, I'm sorry, uh, Forge, not morph. I'm sorry. My brain. This one guy uh, came into work one day and he's like, my friends call me morph. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> and then he, like, he goes, friends? he goes, watch, he goes, watch your phone number. I'm like, the fuck? And I signed him. Never mind. But he, uh, he like, I gave him our phone number. I'm like, all right, if you want to call us later. And he's like, okay. And he takes his watch and he dials our number. <laughs> and he he leaves us a fucking voicemail of him doing some dumb British accent. We're like, what the fuck? Outstanding. Well, he's like, my friends call me Morph because I'm fucking I can morph into whatever. I'm like, okay, buddy. But nah, bro, you don't have any friends. He had these little kid glass up. <laughs> <laughs> he's so, back. Yeah. So from the same store that brought you Bogan, I picked up uh, Guy Dan. Nice. I picked up a Krillin. Oh, I cool. picked up Nappa. Hell yeah. I picked up not one, but two Rock Lords. The oh, fuck is that? It's Transformers, but they're rocks. <laughs> and uh, Reaction Alien from the Ooh, same kind of line that made the... Uh, yeah, nice. So that he is had a, yeah, He had a Black Friday sales, like all used stuff, like... All used toys, which is basically everything in his store, is like twenty percent off or some shit. Hell yeah! Uh, Sick. Don't worry, we're approaching the, the end of this bag. Don't worry. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Aha! So I picked this up as well from that same store with the yellow tags. This is the Yavin Ceremony Luke. Ooh, uh, bro! So how much you? How much did you get that for? Oh my god! Not bad at all. Damn, damn it! That's, I mean, that's not counting the sale price. Yeah. So, but I got them yeah. because of the uh, other three and three quarter I showed you. It's the same body, just they use photo reel on the other one. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Yeah. Get this back in your hand because I got a loose figure. I picked up myself a uh, Booker Dewitt from Bioshock Infinite. Oh, I've been cool. looking for him for some time. Nice. Let's see. We are approaching the end of this bag, I promise. Oh, I forgot there's another bag. That's okay. I'll just do one for all here. GameStop, I picked up the SH Figuarts Ninja Turtles. What's up, Adam? Hey. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your maid man of mad movies. What's going on? Sorry. I'm I'm just showing everyone all the toys I picked up. So. I picked up all four turtles from the SH Figure Arts line from GameStop, so that's pretty cool. I like that one. Hell yeah. And, of course, you can still stare at Bogan while I desperately reach for this next bag. That Stormtrooper <laughs> in the corner is like, when are you going to be my turn? <laughs> Get my turn yet, seriously, guys. Have you seen my stapler? <laughs> With my, my I red stapler. IG-11 from Best Buy. Ooh. Oh, that's hot. Yes, sir. Ah, he, he looks hard. good. I like he's it. Going to, he's going to commence self-destruct now. <laughs> and Let's throw it against the wall. <laughs> I also picked this this bad Larry up. I didn't you even know they to made these with that until, I, until I found it. <laughs> oh, I almost is... bought one of those yesterday. It made a cool that sound is, when you. I'm gonna wait for your review cool. before I do. Yep. so Yep. That's from the Mandalorian. So that's from the one episode that just came out. And so far, it looks really cool. I'm going to open up and compare it to my... Black Hopefully, it's Series better than the stuff. last one that came out, because the last one had, like, I heard it was, like, really wobbly and not built very well. So, hopefully... Yeah, the Black the, Series one? Yes. Just like Return of the Jedi? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> just like the Wibbly Wobbly TIE Fighters? Yeah, the Wibbly Wobbly jerkly. Timey Wimey? Oh. Herkily Jerkly <laughs> Flu? And I forgot about him. I picked him up at Target. Nice, nice, dude. Those for Ratu. That's oh, really dude. cool. That is so cool. So, but for the record, I've never seen the. I've never seen Nosferatu. I just remember him from the episode of SpongeBob. Nosferatu, even though it's a silent film era, it's or from the silent film era, it's really fucking good still. Yes, it like, is. It, it holds up, and it's free on YouTube. Oh, cool. I'm nice. thinking you should remake Bogan into a coffee mug. Like all you need is just the mug half, you know? <laughs> yep. Hell yeah. Oh, that, oh my goodness. I forgot one more thing, but it's out of arm's reach. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's all right, man. Uh-oh. 
Oh my god, this beer is kicking my ass. Adam missed our uh, our pretty yeah. intro video I made. I'll have to check it out later. I'm very sorry. I, no, I no, was uh, out with the fam, yep. um, but uh, I didn't have the heart to tell him like, "Hey, I have a podcast tonight where we talk about geeky things. Can we can we hustle it along?" No, I wasn't going to do that. So I I didn't, I didn't even tell him. <laughs> Why? Uh, yeah, just, you should have. Gosh, no, <laughs> we, we held yeah, no. Word. no. No, oh, is that, oh a, is that what I think it is? Oh, it is. No it way. is Castle Grace. Wait, is that the is that the vintage? Yes, sir. That's the one I, I have. That's, have. that's the one I have. And, that's and, cool. And you've got the Point Dread turret on it too. Fifty bucks. Oh, nice. dude, I There's love it. Missing the combat trainer weapons rack and some stickers. You can find Otherwise, those. Complete. Yeah. I have I have the weapons rack. I just don't have the laser cannon that goes on the one turret. Yeah, I've got both of them. They're somewhere in here, but I've got both of those. I just I also need the key that pulls this open. But you know what I wanted to get again, Sal, was that uh, I'm going back to GI Joe, but uh, no, not Bogan. <laughs> don't want no Bogans. No Bogans here, buddy. No, that uh, the, the silver GI Joe base. The the uh, oh the command center. Yeah, I, I don't want to say mobile command center because I had the Jesus. crawler, the one yep. that was the crawler that opened up like the tackle box. But uh, the one that I want was the silver one that that's, had the jail cell in the middle. That's of the that. 1983 one. Yeah, that one's hot, dude. That was I, a uh, hot playset. I had that one forever. Why I, do you torture uh, me? So I'm going to have nightmares now. <laughs> Jesus age Christ. <laughs> I wanted to take it off solo, but I'm not going to with that. I like yeah, Bogan. Sal ain't right I, uh, Wait, right, that, buddy. <laughs> that command center you're talking about, Groove. I saw one of those on the Facebook Marketplace. It was on there for like three or four weeks, right? Yeah. Uh, the guy's kid had put some Marvel stickers on it, but aside from that, it was brand new. The day, because I was talking to Sal, I think I showed you the price on it, and you were like, that's a good deal. I went to buy it and it was gone. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. I would love to have one of those again. Oh, wait. Because they it? just they don't make the place. There you go. He has a Terra Dome. Oh, see, I want that's one. That's hot, those. too. I never had a Terra Dome. Ooh. I would totally, I, I would totally buy it. From the same guy that I got the Castle Grayskull from, and Bogan. Oh. He was right there. <laughs> Just in <laughs> case you Bogan. forgot. Yeah. In case you forgot yeah. Bogan. I want to I want to get one of those, and I want to customize that thing and turn it into a Death Star. That, uh, That'd uh. be cool. I've seen that done, man. It looks sweet. Um, there's There's been a couple of them. If you're out there in the chat right now, be sure to bitch slap that like button. We are up to nine likes on this one, and uh, I'm, I'm happy with that, man. Now we get some more people in the chat, I'd be even happier. So, yeah, that's that's a pretty nice haul there. And I, Bogan looks at home in front of Castle Grayskull. I think he has the power. Oh, yeah. He's I'm guarding gonna it. Get, I'm going to put him in the fright zone where I pick that up. Yeah, that's that's my next one right there for the He-Man is, uh, is getting the fright zone one. Um then I'm going to start going after figures uh, because I'm, I want to get the the whole basically the whole run of He-Man because there's really not that many. There are some that are tough to get a hold of, like King Randor, stuff like that. No, there's 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 tons. I mean, if you think of like original like the main cast, there's only like seven or eight, but there's tons and tons and tons of Motu stuff. Yeah, but I'm not even a Motu collector. I only have like one actual Motu figure. I have a Zodak. But I was uh -huh. like, you know what? For fifty bucks, I couldn't pass up Castle Grayskull, and I guess now I have an excuse to buy all those Motu figures. I just miss play sets. They're boys' yep. doll houses, man. They yeah. are, and they made uh, some cool ones. There's one that's really cool that I, I, was, I have on my uh, Amazon shopping list. I just haven't pushed the button on it yet, whether I want to go for it or not. But it's a, uh, it's one of those. The, I, I'm trying to remember if it was the. You know what? Let me just pull it up so I can remember what it's called. It's not officially GI Joe, but it's very, very, very cool looking. Let me see here. Like the core? Uh, let me yeah, see is it the core? Because I see gonna, a lot of those. I'm going to uh, uh, see. Hey, hang on a second. I want to say what's up to Ryan Kennel from the RK Outpost. Popping through to bitch slap that like button. Have a great stream. Thank you very much for stopping by. Ryan. And uh, be sure to uh, go over and check out, if you're not a subscriber to RK Outpost, go over and check him out. Does a lot of quality EU stuff and is a... Uh, a great contributor to the fandom menace. So thank you for stopping by my friend. I appreciate it. Thanks brother. Oh man. So did you, uh, did you find your, uh, did you find the gimmick you're looking for Adam? I'm still looking. Okay. I'm trying to remember which list I had it on. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. We are up to 10 likes right now, ladies and gentlemen, already 25 minutes into the program. I am very happy. Oh, uh, here it is. That's Click the power it. of pine saw. 
toys. <laughs> Click and play military multi-level command center headquarters. 51 piece playset with accessories. It's dropped a whole bunch in price. I think I might get Let's the see button. it. Let's see it. Screen share that thing, man. I'm going nice. to screen, uh, screen share this bad <laughs> I boy. I see it. Talking I is hard. Words are hard. If Words are good. I'm going to pick one up. <laughs> you might you might like it let's see here all right done to Dang. share the screen i'll tell you what go. you missed adam I, I picked up not one but two rock lords Ooh, Ooh looky here all right dog, now, dog. where do you Sorry. see where do you see <laughs> the uh the front of it let's see if they have the picture of the front they usually have different Cause like the front of this looks, it looks like uh, it's all decked out. Like, uh, yeah, they don't have all the pictures of this here. But I, I've been, I've had my eye on this thing for a long time. I've seen this thing go up in price and then go down in price, and then back up again. At one point, this thing was like a hundred some bucks, and they brought it back again. I don't remember the the line that this this comes from. I'm trying to figure That's out. That's pretty cool I, looking though. Yeah, oh yeah, this thing's dope, dude. Um, I want to play with that. Yeah. I know, but it has it has right electronic now. sounds and stuff on it too. So nice. So it looks like it's click and play. It's just the name of the manufacturer. So it could no, be like it was somebody party. else. It, it wasn't the core, but it was one of those. You know what I mean? Like the knockoff yeah, yeah, GI Joe's like line. Action Force or something. Yeah, Some of those super, are better than others. Like the Toys R Us ones were always really nice. I liked those. Super Action Man America number one or something. Yeah, but if you look at this up close, see like it's got like the chairs and like the little map oh, yeah. and. Uh, this is totally a boy's dollhouse, and oh, I dude, don't that care. Is, that is 100%. sweet. Wait, wait, I like go, it. Go down to the right. To the right. There's a fucking gun rack, dude. Yeah, they've got a gun. You oh, know what? Yeah, and those little vehicles and stuff come with it. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. So I don't even own a gun, let alone many guns that would necessitate the use of an entire rack. <laughs> <laughs> you know what was cool? I used to have that. Remember the GI Joe battle platform, the aquatic one? Oh yeah, absolutely. Wait, okay, I, I had I had one of those. <laughs> And I ended up selling it, but that had a little gun rack in it too, and it came with a bunch of it came with like a bunch of M16s. See that chopper? I had that chopper. This is actually a pretty cool commercial. That kind of looks like the Mobag. Uh huh. Justice. Not the Mobag. Sorry, the Mobag. Yeah, yeah, it's a Mobag. Is it? Yeah, it's electronic. In a battle. And I had one of those too. I except I I uh, tried to paint it. Lose. I really like how they do They should make a GI Joe movie where they just do this. Yeah. Just, just pose yeah, the how, new stop motion. Yeah. See, There's a bunch Japan, of them on YouTube. That's how Japan did their toy advertisement for GI Joe. They did stop motion with the Joe figures. That's so much cooler doing it that way than like an animated one and then just like showing the kid playing with them. Yeah. But yeah th the reason I know about this space is it's been, it shows up on like a lot of GI Joe groups and stuff like this. Like mm -hmm. people are like, you totally got to get this for your dioramas and whatnot. There's a lot oh, of different absolutely. ways you can, you can Hell open yeah. this thing up and, and, you know, repose it and everything. You, you can't, you can't make something like this for this kind of a price. Yeah. I am going what are they to asking for that? get this 50 bucks. Yeah. That's for what it comes uh, with. Yeah. yeah it comes with all this stuff, all the guns, all the figures. Oh, it uh, comes with all the figures too. Oh yeah. Holy yeah. hell, that's a deal. Yeah, this yeah. is all the whole kit and caboodle. So I'm probably gonna, yeah, probably gonna get the push the button Whoa, on this one. I mean, I would push the button down there on your left. Uh, oh, you, you like these? Uh, yeah, get all three because it's only eighty bucks for the tent and the watchtower and all that. Now these wow. towers, I've seen these a million times. You can get these at big lots. These towers, big okay. lots. That's the name of the store where I got my cane and jars. I yep. couldn't think of the and name. Here's, of here's this, yeah. this little um, tent right here with the the fire and the kettle and. Yeah, that's, Jesus. that's too cool. This is these these yeah, are that's like a cloth goods tent too. Military life, sick. huh? That's what those they're calling solid. it. Oh, that's what it is. It's world peacekeepers. That's the yeah. They okay. make good stuff. They make yep. pretty good vehicles and accessories. The figures, not so much. They're they're just kind of average. But um, their play sets and stuff like that, pretty on pretty on point. They actually make a uh, a bunker like with little bunk beds and stuff like that. Like uh, oh, that's too cool. Listen to us boys talking about the dog. I'm telling right? you, man. Yeah. I'm like, hey, that's but awesome. doesn't this stuff make you happy? Isn't this what yeah. Christmas yeah. is about? Talking yeah. about toys yes. and yeah, being happy about this kind of stuff. Absolutely. I want yeah. money. I I'm want to get money. a couple of those and just flank them. Next, like, because I'm trying to get that uh, the command center, the GI Joe command center from '83. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get that, but I'm gonna have to get two of those to flank it on each side to kind of oh. 
add some wet with some width to it. That'll be sick. Free delivery yeah. by Friday, huh? Hmm. All right. All right, screw my oh. video editing program. My mom is going to get done before I want that. <laughs> mom, give me the playset instead. I need exports, Mega Mega Man. Yeah, I have to be now. careful. I, I got. I, I had to actually go out today, and th that's why I was gone. I had to go buy a coat and a hat and uh, gloves and a scarf because I don't own those things in Florida. So. Oh, yeah, you're going to need them when you come back up to the great white north, man. Yeah, I've, I've already told some of my buddies that I come in and they're already starting with that. Like my buddy Brian, he's like, oh, you're going to don't forget to buy your nut warmer. I'm like, no, that's your job. <laughs> that's why I got a seat heater in my truck. <laughs> <laughs> he's balls, man. Speaking about dolls, um, just really quick, I have finally joined the uh not the mile high club but i have joined the <laughs> elita battle angel club because i finally watched it today oh yeah. Nice. yeah and it was very good and i want them to do a sequel because i want to know what happens with her and edward norton's character at the that's end. our pain yeah. dude that was my only gripe when i've reviewed the movie is this is i can't give it a a, a a score higher than what i gave it because it it has a, an open end which i didn't appreciate mm -hmm. i didn't like that and I wasn't really crazy about the musical score. I think they should have went more uh, like synth techno. synth wave, yeah, techno yep. synth wave. They did an orchestral store orchestral score, which I don't feel like fits that movie. They, right. It's 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 I think it's Junkie XL did that that music, and I just uh, no, it wasn't Junkie XL. But anyways, whoever did it, it's just not it. It, it would have benefited with like a, a Brad Fidel type soundtrack. Would have mm -hmm. been perfect, like something memorable, you know. Yeah, Alita needs like a theme. Good. She needs like a theme music for when she charges into battle. You know. Yep. Yeah, the score was definitely off. On yeah, that. the the score and the fact that it's an open ended movie. But other than that, the performances, the uh, the the motion capture work, the special effects, beautiful in that movie. Absolutely beautiful. Did anyone else catch Edward Norton having his early cameo at the first uh, motor motorball thing? Edward Norton's in there as well. Yeah, like the, he's. Are you sure it's him. Edward Norton and not um, the other guy, uh, Jai Courtney? Jai Courtney's in yeah. the motorball. Yeah, I, I caught yeah, him. Yeah, they're like uh, when they first when she first gets there and, they, and the announcers are talking, you hear I think whoever the main announcer is, you hear him, and then there's someone that says "Welcome to Motorball," and that's Edward Norton's voice, and then it goes back to the announcer, and you don't see or hear him again until the very end. Interesting, huh? Yeah. I guess I didn't catch that one. <clears throat> yep. Because I, I just noticed, because the announcer has a, a much different timbre than Edward Norton. I was like, are there two announcers? And then it was Well, I love me some Ed Norton, so yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll see what goes with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely, he's one that, you know, I would like to really see come back and uh, take over the role of the Hulk. <laughs> if, mm -hmm. uh, if they get rid of Mark Soy Ruffalo. That's not going to happen. He's, he's burned too many bridges with that. Yep. Oh, yeah. He's been notoriously difficult to work with, so. I mean, technically, mm -hmm. he can because Universal still owns the film rights to the Hulk. So if they want to make their own Hulk movie, they can just yep. have Edward Norton in it. I'd like that. I I wouldn't complain. Yep. I'm you know it'd be better than seeing Mark Ruffalo play it again. But I mean, I guess we're really not gonna have to worry about that. We're just gonna have to cast Amadeus Cho now and She Hulk. Mm -hmm. but yeah, all that's... this. Uh, I say all all this. To talk of toys and all that in Black Friday ties into kind of my one of my main points about all of it is I bought all these toys for myself YouTube so this whole Coppa Copa thing can lick my taint yep agreed <laughs> buddy agreed yep. Yeah, man, this is uh, they're really trying to put a uh, put a hurt on independent creators like uh, the four of us. Strangle you know? hold, man. It, yeah. It's really especially with Sal, man, with your with your toy, uh, with the toy stuff, because, you know, they're going to hit you with, well, they're toys. Well, you know, uh, nobody's buying their their kids a fifty dollar action figure. So, uh -huh. you know, blow it out your ass. I wonder they're, what they're going to do when we review Playmobil the movie. Are they going to come oh. after us for that one? Because well, uh I'm not expecting much off of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, dude, it's it's the same thing with like, you know, with like my channel. I cover Marvel and Star Wars and shit like that. Well, that's you know? what, yeah, that's what boys like. That's that's what us dudes like. I mean, it, it is it's possible in 2019 that grown ups like toys and video games and uh, movies about superheroes. It's yep. it's acceptable. It, it it's it's public <laughs> knowledge, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no. Oh no. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Schumer should have been She Hulk. <laughs> you mean She Hulk or She Bulk? Um oh god. I'd like to see a Ronald McDonald movie and I want to see Amy Schumer play Grimace. <laughs> she already is. I can't stand that woman, dude. She's oh. a fucking hamburger. She yeah, she's <laughs> On her resume. Oh. So I heard somebody say uh, one of those, you know, those memes that have been floating around. I'm gonna tell my kids this, tell my kids that. Somebody put, uh, <laughs> gonna, tell my kids this is Miss Piggy. That was I'm me. Like, That's yeah, an insult yeah. to Miss Piggy. Yeah, oh, I, I was made, you that I put that, that up. One. I made that one. <laughs> yep. Bogan, Bogan approves. Bogan approves. I'm, I'm gonna ship Amy Schumer and Bogan. You? <laughs> do you know what she'll do with Bogan? <laughs> I don't think he'll be able to walk. I have not that he walks straights anymore, but. <laughs> oh, God, that's fucking terrifying. Amy Schumer, She-Hulk. You know, I can honestly say, like, uh, going back to, I don't know, like, right after she first debuted, like, her first stand-up special. Um, I won't lie, man. She looked halfway decent. She looked all right. She's always been a little thick, but she carried it well. And then all of a sudden, like, not even before before the kid, like, she just went to straight to hell. And there's RoboCop. I dig that figure, man. I like that. Can't get into focus. Here, hang on. Let the woman go. You are under arrest. <laughs> Dead or alive, you are coming with me. Yeah, it's because I got autofocus turned off. That's dun, all right. Dun, 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 dun. That's my favorite. Da, 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 da. The original Robocop movie is the best. It really is. Yeah. That there, there are many like it, but only one. Not so much the third Robocop movie, because that was that was one where he's all flying around and shit. The second one was even cringy. He's the only man to make red form in his bitch. He did too. Holy shit. Clarence Boddicker. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. Dick Jones. I work for Dick Jones. Dick Jones runs OCP. OCP runs the cops. I still want one of those. Uh, I actually used to have one of those uh, Tauruses. It wasn't a Taurus, though. It was a Mercury Sable. It was an 80, uh, about an 88. Um, remember those old primer black Tauruses in there? My grandpa got one of those Sables because he'd retired out of Ford Motors. I was like, Grandpa, why don't you get the black? Because I was a little kid. I'm like, why don't you get the black Taurus? He looked at me like, boy, you don't understand. Mercury's a classy car. <laughs> Oh hell! But so uh, you got any? Uh, you got any other thing else in your bag of tricks for us, Sal, or anything else you want to uh, you want to bring up? Uh, While we're on the topic yeah, of merchandising, merchandising. Yeah. Well, what, what were we talking about? Black Friday stuff. Yeah. yeah, all the how how much of a sham Black Friday actually is. And Dude, I actually saved money for Black Friday and bought like next to nothing just because I couldn't find anything that I wanted. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did buy what I originally wanted, which was the Outer Worlds for the Xbox. I got that. Mm -hmm. I got a new mount for my phone. It wasn't even on sale. It was just something that I needed. And uh, I bought the movie Office Space on Blu-ray. Oh, hell yeah. That's it. That's all I bought. That's all. Well, I, no, I take that back. Black Friday, I, I got a Samsung Galaxy phone because it was on sale. But that's that's a gift that I'm supposed to open later. I'm not supposed to have that right now. But I, <laughs> yeah. I just got it on sale. But that's all I bought, man. Yeah, I also bought some video games, but they are way out of reach. So I was able to pick up the uh, Ghostbusters Remastered. Uh, I got that. Game for PS4. Yeah. I picked it up for 20 bucks on sale. Nice. Nice. I got some used video games because they had a buy two, get one free. And then I got some used Xbox 360 games because I recently bought a Xbox 360 so I could play Force Unleashed for the first time. You bought way more stuff than I did because I got a couple of digital movies because the deal was just too good. It's like it, mm -hmm. when it costs almost as much to buy the movies as it does to rent it, you may as well. I, I had, right, uh, right. I picked up, um, uh Aquaman, love that movie. Uh Shazam, eh. It was good. Uh, uh Spider-Man Far From Home, eh. Mm -hmm. Um Venom, eh. <laughs> so not not all of them were win. Oh, and I got the uh Deadpool 2 finally cuz I I, had, I hadn't bought that one. I'd seen it, but I I didn't never got a chance to buy it. <laughs> so, that's all I got. Dead. But that, that closes out uh, mine because I was tying it all into the Copa thing because that's hitting near to my, you know, my channel. So at least I, if, you know, if, if worst case scenario and they, they nuke 
fucking YouTube and all the toy channels just appear. At least I hit my hundred subscriber mark that I wanted to hit. So. Congratulations, buddy. Yeah, Thank man. You. you earned it. I I hope so. <laughs> there, because uh, uh, believe me, when I made that status, I wasn't lying. It's easy to burn out when you're making YouTube. All of you can attest to that. It's really easy to burn out and lose any kind of motivation because you hit that snag where you're not growing at all. I'll yep. tell you, man. If it wasn't oh, for Lita yeah. Battle Angel, I I I hit that hundred like a lot easier than most of you guys did, and I kind of feel bad about it. But I just I jumped on at the very tail end of the Alita wave and. Um, that kind of carried me over the the hundred like pretty fast. Uh, everything Hope after that that was has been a uh, been an uphill battle. So shit, I've been I've been stuck here. Like I said, I lost two subs on Sunday, and then uh, I got a couple back, so I'm back to 123. And I've been sitting here for I don't know like a week or so, maybe probably longer than that, like two weeks. But you know, it's like I, I, I'm trying. You know, I'm testing the waters. You know, I'm doing the, you know, just doing videos when I can. I'm trying to edit them up and put more production value into them. You know, because I'm like, I'm sure people appreciate that. You know, but hey, Pete, where did your subs go? Huh? Did you look behind the sofa? I mean, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe they're just not lost. Maybe you just aren't looking in the right places. You know, did you, I, uh, did you retrace your steps? I looked under the couch cushions. Damn uh, it. Did you I check my other couch. I checked my yeah. other pants. Um, the cats haven't taken them. The dog didn't eat them. She ate my homework. Did yeah, you drunk, the junk drawer. Yeah, you got you got a junk drawer in your in your house. Usually, those things always wind up in junk drawers. Yeah, you know, I'm sure there's a couple of subs in there. <laughs> I told her to check her purse because I thought she lost it there, and then I thought I found it, but it was just chewed bubble gum underneath the couch. If you can tell me what movie that's from, I'll be your friend. Oh God! Did you check your present wallet? Yes. The old the old pork wallet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Gross. know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. You got me. Uh, dinner for schmucks. Oh God! See, I haven't seen that in so long. Oh like, God! Uh, since it came out. Movies. Yeah, it's, it's uh, 2009, I think. But it's one of those movies that I forget how good it is, and then yep. I'll see it on TV or something, and I'll sit down and watch the whole thing and just laugh the whole time. Well, freaking Steve Carell like does the uh, he does that gimmick in that movie so good. I mean. He's what was that? The, he came out with that new movie, and I thought that was gonna kind of be like, you know, a comedy. But I guess it's all preachy and shits that uh, he makes those dioramas again. Oh, and I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, um, it's because he gets beat up and he's like a cross dresser or something. Ah, uh, shit. I'll that one again. I'll, I'll, but it's I'll got like it's got a bunch of women in it, and it's yeah, like they're it's, all. It's, his... a, it's a Zemeckis movie too, so everybody was shocked that it wasn't good because on yeah. paper it sounds like it should be wonderful, but yeah, it's yeah. Not, I'll, I'll look it up in a second. Because it had a good cast, I just can't remember the name of it. It's it's welcome to something or other, and it's about yeah. PTSD, is what it basically yep. is. Yeah, because um, he got he got like beat up like really bad, like got mugged or some yeah. shit. It was because he has to, like face him in court. Yeah, yeah. I I I'm, I was trying to think of the name of it, but I, it came out a little while ago and. I was like, oh, this looks kind of cool. And then I, I started listening to reviews and reading reviews. I'm like, oh, no, this is not going to be good. Never mind. Never mind. But, yeah, that, uh, that's funny. Um, no, I just, I never, I never really saw, but I watch The Office, like, seriously, every day. So I was like, I just, Steve Carell is always, like, right there. <laughs> He's, yeah, like, the king of the early 2000s. It's called Welcome to Marwin. Welcome to Marwin. That's what it was. Yep. Yeah, I saw the preview. Yeah, yeah, I saw the preview in like a theater. In the, in the, in the, no, I didn't see. I can't remember the fuck I saw it, but I thought I was seeing it in theaters. Yeah, I thought I was in the theater, and I was like, "Oh, this looks cool." Then not. So he builds dioramas, and the uh, it's kind of his way of dealing with PTSD. He has severe PTSD, and he builds this elaborate diorama, and he, his mind he, he lives in this diorama what it is and they animate the diorama and from what i uh, understand makes the movie extremely awkward okay yeah so All right. oh boy that sounds fun yeah <laughs> i mean yeah, steve carell's career is awkward so yes this is true it, it is. is he's the king of the awkward humor but boy i loved him in bruce almighty Damn oh it. god yeah he was so funny in that movie and that when you when you're in a when you're in a jim carrey movie and you're almost funnier than jim carrey that says something about your career right there. Yep. He I tell you, man, he rode that wave. Uh he is capable of great things. That spy that, movie with the rocks really good. And Anne Hathaway. Uh, oh, um Get Smart. Yeah. 
See, I, I, I don't think I ever watched it. See, I watched the original Get Smart with uh, that was a few years it. ago. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 the reruns that TV show on Nick at Night as a kid with my my folks, you yeah. know. So I uh, I never I did I didn't watch the new one. I admit two thousand eight when that one came out. Yeah, it was a remake of the TV. I, I used to watch the TV show when I was a kid. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Agent ninety nine, the yeah. shoe phone. Yep, I remember the shoe phone. I always joke about that. I'm like, you got one of them shoe phones? <laughs> oh, they used to have the Sports Illustrated one too. Yeah. Okay. Here's. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Leo Red's on fire tonight, ladies and gentlemen. On Black Friday, I bought three. Gynamastia. Gynamastia compression vest to hide my man boobs and stomach. Congratulations, God bless you, brother. Send me one of them. Ugh. Shit, I don't hit the. <laughs> if I don't walk the ten feet out to my weight room, I saved a ton of money on Black Friday by not buying shit. That's the part where he stuck his tongue in the rock's mouth. I lost. I think it. last year on Black Friday, I I was new to Xbox. I bought a stack of Xbox games. This year, I did not. Just didn't. I didn't buy shit on Black Friday. I was watching my niece, and uh, I was home with my kid and uh, my. Well, niece. sure as hell didn't go out. I didn't go out on on Black Friday or Cyber Monday because there See, was just no reason to. My wife and uh, my sister and uh, my mom all went shopping on Black Friday because it was my mom's birthday. So I said, take mom out. So I stayed home with the kids and let them go uh, have margaritas at noon and stuff like that. So that was fun. That'd be a good band name. Margaritas at noon? Yep. (laughs) That actually is. I like that. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to do our spinoff band uh, when we get together. We'll have to be margaritas (laughs) at noon. That's our right. karaoke, that's our karaoke band name, Margaret. All right. Moon. I'll scream. Sal plays guitar. I can fill around on piano. All right. Yeah. It's a start. I play yeah. lots of instruments. Oh. <laughs> I do too for the right price, but you know. <laughs> Didn't say you played any good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I'll play the tambourine. Yep. I get the maracas, man, and I can. I'll, I'll do some vocals. In the electric triangle. <laughs> the electric. We, we triangle. don't my... want Pete. We don't want Pete to sing. Where's my keytar? Your keytar. Where's my keytar? You know what a keytar is. Hey, don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm a child of the '80s. Don't be dissing the keytar. Right? I had a. I had one of those little toy keytars. Leo Red's a skin flute. Yep, that too, man. That too. Every time I see a keytar, I just want to grow a big, long mullet, put on a big puffy coat, and sing Elder Barge. <laughs> Elder Barge. Oof. There's the beat one. of the rhythm of the night, dancing <laughs> to the morning light. Hang on, we gotta. We got to go over here. Oh, man. I love it, dude. That's just like mine. Yep, I've got the ladder. I'm, uh, like I said, <clears throat> the only thing I'm missing is the laser off the one side. Do you have the Talon Fighter for that, too? Yeah, that's what I'm missing right there. Yeah, I, this is, other than Zodak and these like little mega construct things, He's this is the only He-Man Motu thing I own. So okay. This still works, which is pretty cool. Yep. Nice. See, my, my trap door is broken. I had to. Uh, I had said. to. I. I, <laughs> I, uh, I had to do some uh, engineering to it as a kid. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is why our childhoods were awesome because we had stuff like this all of the time. Yep. I mean, yeah. all we had all of the cool toys all we of the time. Bogan. Bogan. We had a lot of military toys. Bogan's down there. Is that, is that is that Faker down there? Yeah, it's Faker and Skeletor. Yep. So that's actually uh, on your way to you, Pete. Oh, shit. The little mega construct people. I had the muscles. I had oh, another. Yeah. You had those muscle figures, too? They were kind of like G.I. Joes, but they didn't really move. They were they were kind of yeah. like, like a cross between muscles and G.I. Joes. I had a bunch of those. Um, Some yeah, of those are on their way to you, Pete. Nice. Uh, Some uh, Sergeant Slaughter, Jake the Snake muscles. Nice. I had what was it? Um, those little the little pink and purple figures, the muscle. I had those, dude. I sold uh, what was it like? Probably fifteen of those to a kid in Detroit for like forty bucks. Sal, did you have Sergeant Slaughter's Warthog? I do. Uh, no, I, I do not. And I did. That not. thing was badass, dude. I had one of those because I didn't have a whale. I, I wasn't one of the fortunate kids that had a whale, but I had Sergeant Slaughter's mm-hmm. Warthog, and it it was a tank that rolled and it also floated. Wait, wait, that little the little tank. No, this is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was the warthog. It, you could put a bunch of people in the back. It was like an ATV. Oh, oh, oh! oh. I've got a, uh, I've got Slaughter. He came with like a little. There was like a little tank he had. Um, yeah, it's a the, one. This is, this is no. This this held like a, several figures. Oh this yeah, is this an actual. You're talking about this one. It's a full size vehicle. 
Uh, oh, okay. Not yeah, that one. Uh, no, not that one. I had that one though. I did have that one too. Um, no, this one's different. Let me see. Maybe I'm maybe I'm calling it the wrong thing. I was gonna say because Slaughter had like a little tank. I've got. No, this one was much bigger. This this was just a, a straight up Joe vehicle. Okay. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. The the Sergeant Slaughter with Triple T. Yeah, yep. no, not, not that one. This one was much bigger. Because I got him. I got two Sergeant Slaughters. I got the original one yeah. and the uh, the Marauders. Joe Warthog. One. Here it is. <clears throat> Uh, na, 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 na. Share, 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 so we know what we're talking about. Here we go. This bad boy right here. Oops. Okay. Back up. Hold on. Yeah, that's... That, that, yeah. in the right-hand corner there. That's that's the warthog. And I'm trying to see if I can find a picture of the back of it, because you could open it up and pile a bunch of... Oh, no, it's, it's right there. It opens up on the I've side. Got, I've got okay. Hardball. I've got Storm Shadow. They're both broken, but I have them. I have two, actually. I have two of those Hardballs. He came with a badass grenade launcher. Yeah, this this one here was cool because it floats. So um, Okay. I used to I put it in the swimming pool. Let me nice. see here. here. Here we go. Some better pictures of it. Oh, yeah. It's oh, really out of focus. Yeah. Yep. See how you could put the, the dudes in the back of it there? It yep. held a lot of stuff. Yeah. You can put your weed in there. You can put well, your a lot weed of people in don't there. Know you can put your weed in there. Well, that's the box. One thing to be careful of. Uh, not that you find these at yard sales anymore, but back in the day, uh, you would <laughs> yeah, find yard sales like so the whale uh, on the bottom has a compartment. So it's a bit of a debate. Uh, but there's a bottom compartment on the whale that flo uh, the whale that floats like on the bottom. There's a little hatch that opens up, and nothing is in there. Nothing. <laughs> and there's a matter of debate. Some people say that originally the whale was supposed to be motorized to float on the water, and that the battery oh. made it from having it would sink. Okay. But I just use it to store like extra weapons and the blueprints and stuff. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, no one really knows what it was for. But uh, compartments like that, sometimes if you pick them at a, at a yard sale, you'd open them up and there'd be an extra Joe in there. Some people will find, like, I bought a bowling bag at a yard sale because I was really into bowling when I was a senior in high school. And someone left, like, $35 and change in the bowling bag. Jeez, so, what? And I, and I bought the bowling bag for five bucks. So I never, get, I never get lucky like that. So whenever you go to yard sales and there's vehicles or anything like that that you might buy, and there's a compartment. Open it up before you buy it because there might be something in there. <sighs> Put sometimes, your weed in there. Sometimes it's like dead cockroaches, but you know, <laughs> it's, it's never anything cool when I find it. It's always dead cockroaches. Oh, uh, Sal! Sometime when it's just you and me, we, I could tell you all day about horror stories about things we used to find when people traded stuff in at uh, GameStop, buddy. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, in their you. in their consoles, in their oh, consoles. Yeah. Not all of those things are dead, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. That's terrifying. Yep, 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 yep. That's uh, some people. So, if you wonder why the dudes at GameStop are so picky about what they take in, it's because they're afraid for their lives, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to find, uh, I don't want to find any cockroaches in mine. That'd be nope. terrifying. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. Spiders, ants. Oh, God. Yeah, um, Bed bugs. when when I uh, when I opened up my box before I sold all my GI Joe stuff when I was still living in Big Rapids, I had a box. Now these have been in storage for like almost I don't know twenty five thirty years in my parents' house. Um, so my dad brought them down to me, and I'm pulling everything out of there. Like I got an old General Lee in there and stuff, and I'm pulling. You should have seen the spiders. Hell, the newspapers in there were from like nineteen eighty seven. <laughs> I mean, it was funny, man. Like just the the stuff, the the articles, like the price of a new car and stuff like that. I'm like, man, I wish this was. I wish this was. I had this uh, suitcase that's got Lego on the outside of it, and uh, I, I just recently got this back. Uh, it's it's full of uh, all my Ninja Turtles. I have all of my Ninja Turtle figures still. Oh hell yeah! All are they're not carded. I mean, they're all open and everything because we didn't know to collect those things back then. But uh, open but, them all. Well, yeah. Even then, like there are some loose turtles that'll sell for a lot of money. Oh, all my turtles have the squishy heads. So I was kind of oh, curious if I was kind of curious if those ones that you bought recently have squishy heads or not. Yeah, that's that's what I'm curious about. Uh, from what I can feel, just from pressing on the bubble, it feels like they're all solid heads. Yeah, I don't heads. want you. To, I don't want you to open that sucker up or mess it up. But I was just curious if they're squishy head turtles. Oh, no, I'm yeah. I'm 100 gonna open it up just then, not until I can review it. Gotcha. I'll I'll be checking that one out. Definitely. 
Definitely. Well, if uh, if our director of merchandising has uh, has wrapped yeah. up his his segment, I then think we... that's enough cutaways for me. <laughs> then we move on, ladies and gentlemen. Conway Tweedy. <laughs> oh, da, no, 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 Let's let's go down to one half of our Florida man group, ladies and gentlemen. Cody from Goober Brothers Entertainment. What do you got for us, buddy? Uh, got a couple things for you. All uh, right, it's a supernatural uh, representative of the Florida man delegation. There that, we go. That is correct. Bath salts so, be damned. <laughs> yes. So I have something for you right here. If you want to take a look at it. Yep. Uh, got it. Pete, if you, uh, I know you like The Office, so. <laughs> oh, God. That's so fucking great. <laughs> so, so, folks, for $12.95 <laughs> with free shipping, if you have Amazon Prime, if you want, oh. you can buy Pete and I, or any of us here that like The <laughs> and Office, I. <laughs> uh, and I, some uh, Kevin Malone, Kevin's chili socks. So. <laughs> I love it. And there's also <laughs> my personal favorite, which I can't wait to get, is the Stanley Oh God Secret Weapon t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best sequences because Michael was so disappointed when he saw Stanley how bad he was. He's like, You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I just every time I just see him was going down the court, I was like, Holy shit. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what else they got? Let's see. Uh the uh I Heart Pretzel Day. Yes. That's a pretty good one. Uh uh-uh, uh, not today. It's pretzel day. Ooh, this one. This is a this is a game changer oh, right here. Oh. Did I did I start <laughs> <did I> a <laughs> Earth the Stanley? Oh, that was fucking great. Bro, oh, have he... you lost your mind? Because I'll help you find it. <laughs> <laughs> I better not. Catch you sniffing around my daughter again. That little girl is a child. <laughs> they got my size. All right. So if you guys want, uh, eh, it's a little bit up there, but you know, did I stutter? But oh god, since we're on the topic of you know Black oh. Friday shopping, let's just look for a second. Uh, just <laughs> pretend like. Oh, what the? F- okay. Cody hijacks the uh, the the Sir, boardroom just so that he can do his shopping online. <laughs> He's ordering shirts and shit. He posted Sir, up his Amazon. Been a and you are a suspect. Oh, great. Well, let me just settle in and now uh, back, and he just beats it to the fucking parking lot and drives off. <laughs> Big ass Lincoln ripping out of that parking lot. Fuck it. I'll get back on eBay and see if I can find a Blu-ray of Miami Connection. No, Nobody. we should we should get matching office T-shirts. Nobody steals some Creed Brat and gets away with it. Yeah, if you guys ever want a life play, a uh, life Yo. pledge for me, if you guys can find me Miami Connection on Blu-ray, uh, yeah, life debt. That's that's what I'll give you in Bruh. return. I love that shirt. <laughs> the best of Creed. Oh God, he was dude that that. It's Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> It's www.creedthoughts.com. Oh, oh, I can't oh, even breathe. Uh, I just had to use my inhaler. Okay. I can't breathe anyway. Okay. Uh, just but the, Okay. Let's just... Uh, same cops. It's another cop. It's... What the fuck? Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, dude. <laughs> yes. Quality assurance director. <laughs> They need to. I, I wonder if they make one with Dwight on it, where it says, "What does it say, Dwight Fart Shroot?" And it's all me. <laughs> my middle name is Kurt, not Fart. <laughs> all these cops. What the? F- Jesus, that's What's that from? Is that from an episode? Ah, uh, no, that's just terrifying. I was about to say, I was like, I don't remember that. Um, just that's like somebody with Parkinson's Drew Creed. Dude, you get Callahan Auto Parts right here. Like that's insane. Callahan. The average price of Miami Connection on Blu-ray right now is thirty nine ninety nine. Jesus Christ! You're paying for a new release, for a used, a used one. That's a good. That's a good that's, Stanley. That's the cheapest one you can get. There's used. some Prison Mike uh, socks right here. A Prison Mike. I just watched. Uh, 
I just watched Miami Connection again. I was watching it today. You saw that. I sent you that picture while that video was rendering. <laughs> it's it's a great movie to watch. Well, if you want some cheering up, if you need a pick me up, you just yep. watch that, and it, it makes you realize how wonderful the world can be. I'm fast at eighty percent of all snakes. If you if you must know, I'm somewhere between a snake and a mongoose. <laughs> <laughs> I personally love this one. It's a toss up between this and the Stanley shirt. I think I got to take the Stanley though. He's going to be the new Air Jordan. I'm telling the, you, the basketball Stanley. That's fucking great, dude. If somebody makes like a silhouette of that and then just puts out on T-shirts like Air Jordan, oh god, that's selling out. Somebody should airbrush that onto some shoes. Oh, I'm getting that tattooed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh god fucking all right. Dwight, man. all right all right so so let's be serious here guys come on Co- we, can't be, shopping. we can't be we can't be looking at well I, I don't know why i just i i saw it on my i was looking on my phone <laughs> and uh, i saw that i saved it a while back and i forgot about it so i was like i gotta show these guys so anyways all right so this is not a florida man story everybody so give you the floor I here. hate I hate to disappoint everybody, but uh yeah. Yes, it's a Michigan Michigan man. It's hey. fucking time. My home state, go. baby. All right. Michigan God man. bless you, Cody. God bless you. Thank Michigan man uses <laughs> We got we got a lot of crazy. Making fun of us all here. the weirdos we got in Florida. Y'all got weirdos too. Damn it. Oh, oh, you have no idea. Come to where I live for like one day. I'll take you to Walmart. <laughs> Our Walmarts are pretty crazy too. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You got white girls with cornrows that'll kill somebody for a half-eaten hot dog and a cigarette. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, you win. Okay. <laughs> Don't you know about the Walmart date, Cody? That's when you take your girl to the, the snack bar at uh, Walmart, and then uh, you want to take her to a movie, go back to the electronics section, and then uh, watch a DVD back there on one of them TVs. Bro, you got to keep it classy. You got to go to Sam's Club and get a hot dog for four bucks or two dollars or whatever. Hey, Sam's hot dogs are pretty good. They're solid. They're solid. All right, guys. So, are you ready? Yes, sir. Sal, uh, were you here off air the, uh, last time? Uh, yes, I was here. Okay, I couldn't remember if you watched it or not. But here we go. This was just on the news. Was oh, it really? Yeah, I remember watching this uh, with my wife in the morning before she was going to work. I was like, check this out. <laughs> this is fucking great. Dude, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this one now. Loads. What's up? Oh, come on. Sorry, we have a technical difficulty, folks. Uh, yeah, because wasn't this in, what does it say? Uh, Otsego, Michigan? Osh Tempo. Oshtimo. Oh, that's right. This was this was, it, It's on the west side of the state, where uh, kind of by where I, it's a little bit south of where I used to live. Meanwhile, the internet. I wish you knew this guy. I, dude, I wish I did too, because I would have him on the fucking show. I probably could just get a hold of him, honestly. I'd honestly be pretty scared, but at the same time, be kind of cool. Oh, he's a nerd. The dude's straight up like he's he's like <laughs> he's fucking funny. Like, Dude, my screen's like having a seizure. What is happening right now? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me let me cue up the Conway Twitty. Hang on a second. This is some bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's all right. Yesterday during the it's, morning it's, show. It's, was it yesterday during my morning show, Adam? My computer froze. It's a Kalamazoo County, right? Yeah. I have the YouTube oh, video if you'd rather me god. use that one. Yeah. yeah, if you have the YouTube video. I do. Where's I do. All the comments. Dude, is there a video? Come on. I'm the blue yeah, I got the video. I got all the right. video. Here, I'm going to pull this one down. Let's see. Where's yours at, Groove? Here it is right here. All right. Ready? Yep. Did, did I click this, the, the noise button or no? I don't think I did. Oh, there he is. That's a champion right there. Oh, dude, yeah. Hold on, let me uh, let me do this again because I okay. don't think I did the sound. I never remember to do the sound. I'm so bad at this. I can never remember that. Is that the red or the white? Okay, share share audio. There we go. All right. Okay. Yeah, my my shit's not loading. So yeah. Okay, we'll try this one. All right, here we go. Let's try this because this this seriously <clears throat> this guy is just fucking priceless. He really is. All right, go ahead, bro. We ready? Okay. Yep. And off the top tonight, a Kalamazoo County man used a <laughs> weapon to fend off a convicted <laughs> criminal who kicked the door into his apartment late last night. But it wasn't a gun. 
knife. He's or got even fucking a bat swords. And kept the intruder at bay. Instead, yeah. it was a replica battle axe. Barton Dieters <laughs> but, is in studio control with collection. this story. All new tonight, Barton. Brian and Marley, the 33-year-old suspect, is in jail now, <laughs> facing a this charge of first-degree home invasion, which could put him in prison for a maximum of 20 years. Yeah, he's Whatever an his reason was for kicking in the door of the Ashtimo apartment, he probably was not expecting to run into a guy who does this on the weekend. I gotta get back to my home planet. <laughs> well, number one, it's not LARPing. <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh, is it LARPing? No, it's, it's LARPing. Like, no, it's LARPing. Um, like, the, this band-aid was actually from filming... Last Can you pause night it real for quick? our newest episode. When he's not working at Applebee's, 36 year old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, right right there. All right, pause it. Or okay. Sorry, pause. okay. Dude, look at his table. Yeah. He's got a Wonder Woman cup. He's got like a red apple ale can, a bottle of UV vodka, some Altoids, some whatever. It looks like ointment. Wait, you don't get out much. Trash bags. What the Roll fuck? Is Xbox. Paper. A mom, fork. mom, bathroom, bathroom. A bottle of ketchup, right behind the Wonder Woman cup. Oh, uh, I don't want to know what that Wonder Woman cup is seen. Toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! This he guy, looks like he collects. Probably smells like the floor of a taxi cab. I'm just oh, oh, and he's probably sticky like the floor of a movie theater. Oh, oh. This, yeah, this, he, this he looks. Is, uh, he looks like he probably has like ashy elbows, stinks like patchouli, oh. and is probably yeah, sticky dude. like a leather sofa on a hot day. <laughs> the, the, beard, the beard has a village living inside of it, you know, just like this whole ecosystem inside of his beard. Yeah. It's like it that looks episode, that episode of South Park with the lice. Oh. The lice standalone episode yeah. of South Park. They're living inside his beard. It looks like he collects my little pony figures. Yeah, he's probably a brony. For sure, this dude looks like an under. <laughs> he, looks like a, he looks like a like a. Uh, oh, you, like you, a don't, you don't know about bronies? Yeah, bro. Oh, no, Next dude. time you're bored, uh, Cody, <laughs> just just Google bronies. All right, You'll, I'm good. Make sure you're high when you watch it. All right, uh, I'm, yeah, this, I, I, I'm good. I don't... This whole subculture of, of of dudes that like My Little Ponies. If I have bronies, to be high but... to watch something, then I'm Kevin Smith, and I'm not okay. That, well, so. yeah, you probably won't need to be high, but yeah, this guy is on his second bottle of whatever because the first bottle of hooch is turned upside down, unless that's ketchup. Um. Yeah. Wow. He okay. needs to trim his beard. Just this guy, it, I think, has a lifespan of about oh three or four more years. <laughs> You're being generous. He I looks like he generous. just got kicked out of his mom's house. Yeah. Not There's even his mom. His stepmom. Meatloaf, mom. Oh my god! All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when he's not working at Applebee's, thirty-six year old Ben Hall competes in the events where people compete he against a big each bitch other there? in ritualized combat. <laughs> he owns a lot of period weaponry, reminiscent of the kind used by Vikings and hey, barbarian John warriors that he Constantine. keeps around his apartment. I've got a double-headed carbon steel battle axe that was homemade by a gentleman who has since passed. That's what I call my my baby. Ball says that the suspect <laughs> needed a former roommate who left to get away. And he showed up at the apartment around 11.30 p.m. Wednesday. The suspect this place looks like it belongs in a demilitarized zone. Playing video games and watching Rick and Morty. Then the suspect <laughs> kicks at the door. <laughs> he might have broken oh my in God, twice. right there. It may have been the third, but I was reaching already over here. And this is what Ball pulled out. A sharpened battle axe. Jesus. Door open. Grab the axe. Step, step. <laughs> Hit. Ball said he had reason oh, to believe dude. the suspect had a firearm. The axe hit the intruder at least <laughs> once in the torso, and then the two started grappling in the apartment, destroying the place. There's a bloody mess oh everywhere. God. Finally, the suspect. Are you sure the place the wasn't already destroyed? It, it, looked, it looked, looked like, like that. Let's, 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 yeah. let's, let's be honest. Canines it looked like that trail before. Of blood <laughs> to apprehend the suspect. <laughs> Bell generous. identifies the suspect as Axel Lavelle Rawls, <laughs> who's currently held in on a charge of first-degree eye. What oh, the fuck yeah, is this? That's an <laughs> Illuminati tattoo. That's from the dollar Illuminati. bill. Did is he anybody, get kicked out of the Kiss fan club? What the is fuck? everybody forgetting that the fact that his name's Axel and he got hit with an axe? <laughs> <laughs> and he's got an now Illuminati see, tattoo over his see, eye. See, his mustache is awful, bro. He's like a failed punch man. Somebody should sure? take that headline and just superimpose it like a dude hoarding a can of Axe body spray. <laughs> oh my god are you sure that's an actual tattoo cody and not just another bad tattoo like another yeah. bad prison tat like the eyeball thing oh my god i don't i dude it i mean <laughs> wow 
Should have hit him in the face when it did him a favor. Jesus. His mustache looks like a blind person. He was probably it. voted most likely to become a street performer in his high school yearbook. I know what he was getting those tattoos for. He's preparing for a career as a mime. Yeah, he's going to be there. Yeah, yeah. He ran he out of money. The world. He probably dresses up as a dollar bill for every Halloween. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this guy is not allowed back in most fast food places. Just no. Saying. Record show Rawls was discharged from the State Department of Corrections in July. <laughs> Now, Kalamazoo County says the suspect spent the night in Kalamazoo the County wounds before being transferred to the Not jail. Florida. Under Sheriff Jim Van Dyke and says avoiding confrontation with the robberies usually. Both the these best guys course. were kicked out but of people Florida. People have a right to defend themselves. <laughs> they sent them to Michigan. <laughs> Studio <laughs> Control Bar Dieters, News 8. I'm not going to lie. Um, that uh, that shit where that, that apartment where that happened, um, I, I, I'm not too proud to say I lived in apartments like that before. Um, the Was kind where you want that, though. What's that? Was it as messy as that one though? Oh fuck no, dude! Yeah, that, that that apartment was a mess before the the guy broke in. I, now I'm he just has a story and an excuse. Yeah, I'm talking about like the type of buildings, like not not like my no. I I could never let my house get any anywhere I live get that disgusting. Like even when I was in my early 20s, and I would like you know I was living with one of my buddies, like him and his old lady, like they were kind of sloppy. Like I would clean the house. I couldn't take it, man. Like. I I can't, I can't I can't live in squalor like that like you yeah, know that dude that dude's living in filth for sure yeah I live I lived in some fucking straight up like no I'm not even gonna lie I lived in a fucking section eight apartment man but I was one of the only motherfuckers that was getting them going to work every morning the only reason I got the rent so cheap was because my girlfriend was in college and I put it in her name so <laughs> so uh, if Sal can attest to you spend some time in the military if your bed ain't made by a certain time you start feeling kind of like oh boy somebody might see this you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, man, that 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 shit that they didn't trash that apartment in a fight. That that apartment that apartment looked like Baghdad already. And the fact that he was playing video games and watching Rick and Morty, you know, I'm like, oh god. And, and did his bong get broke too? He probably no, just he pro makes the, uses like Gatorade bottles. He probably takes he's a bath in it. Yeah, he's just got an apple. He smokes out of. Say, is is recreational weed legal in uh, Michigan? As of December first, yes, it was. Okay, if it happened before December 1st, then the cops probably took it, even if it was broken. Yeah. Medical's been legal here since, uh, well, shit, for like 11 years now. But, um, yeah, they just legalized recreational uh, on Sunday. And, boy, the lines were around the, uh, around, there was like six. Now, they only gave six licenses to recreational uh, facilities in the entire state. And three of them, of course, are in fucking Ann Arbor. Uh, one's in the San Francisco and Michigan, Traverse City. Uh, there's one in this little shithole town called Everett, which is about probably about an hour, not even an hour away from me. I was actually going to drive down there um, to snag some edibles and shit. But I, I, one of my boys that lived down there, I texted him. And he's like, yeah, man, he goes, they, they were out of their, their edibles within like an hour of opening. I'm like, well, I'm glad I didn't drive down there then. But yeah, it's funny because the police now are like, you know, it's, it's illegal to smoke weed and drive. I'm like, well, yeah, it's just like it is to drink and drive. <laughs> you have to be responsible, dummies. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's funny. Like, you know, I don't know. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, that, uh, that story literally, that, uh, Kalamazoo is a very, uh, eclectic and interesting city. Um, there is a, there's a, a university. What is it? Uh, ah, shit. Is that Western Michigan University? I think so over there. Um, it's like a, it, you know, it's a decent sized school, <clears throat> probably about, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand 30,000 kids go there. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Kalamazoo. It's, it's, it's nice. And, and then it goes, uh, it kind of goes uh, a little bit to the hood side. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's kind of like you get over there towards like Benton Harbor and stuff like that. And it gets kind of sketchy. Yeah. I'd fit in real well. <laughs> Bitch. I grew up in Joliet. I'll take you on a, a tour. Oh, hell. I'll take you on a tour of the East side. Oh, but. Yeah, that's uh, that's my that's my state, man. Michigan. I could uh, I can find some uh, next time. I'll, I'll find some. If you want me to find some Michigan freaking crime stories that are just idiotic, uh, let me look over to what is it? Bay City. Holy Jesus! That's Bay City is like half ghetto, half trailer park. Okay, so it is just a it, it's a hell of a mix of uh, of wonderfully entertaining crime stories. Oh God. <laughs> Oh yeah. So what else you got for us, Mr. Cody? Uh 
Let me find the one that I was looking at earlier. Um, dude, I tell you what, though. Florida man, just Florida man don't stop, man. No. No, I we did uh, the, the story we did. Oh, look who's here in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. It is Cuck Muffin himself, Brian Lape. He says, I lurk in silence. Well, just go over and slap the like button real quietly for me, Lape, would you? <laughs> um, well, we're up to 12 likes right now. Oh will, shit! Cool. Uh, I will. Uh, I will thank you all. Leo Red in the chat, Mister Brian Lape. Uh, haven't seen. Uh, we had Ryan Cannell stop by earlier. Um, I haven't seen our good friend Flair X tonight. He uh, is. Uh, he must be working. We know the dude works a lot, and uh, he'll probably catch us on the playback. So everybody, give a big shout out to Flair X. He's one of the peeps that's here. Uh, every damn, every damn stream in the chat. So uh, just want to give you a big shout out, dude, because I know you'll, like I said, I know you'll catch it on the playback. So uh, we miss you. And uh, thanks for being a subscriber. And thanks for listening and supporting us. All right. So let me go ahead and just. God damn it. My mic was this. muted that whole time and I was talking. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Bong. Bong. All right. I, kind of, I was like, yeah, hey, well, he's a great guy. And then I woke up. God damn it. <laughs> All right, Cody, we got it right here. Let me give you the bam. There we go. There we go. Florida deputies are coming out of the airport. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> A fucking oh my God. stolen hot air balloon. Yep, so uh, Florida deputies recover hot air balloons stolen in Indiana. Whoa. You're going to think we're full of hot air. Oh, I didn't press the fucking volume button. Uh -huh. Sucks, doesn't it? It's hard to remember that shit. Yeah, it is. I, I, well, I, I didn't think there's going to be a video. Like, I do a share screen, and then it's like, oh, fuck, I forgot to share the audio. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. I didn't think there was going to be a video. Uh, I thought that was just going to be my commentating. Yeah. They should probably just get... They, they, should, they should make a set a setting. StreamYard, if you're listening to our, our podcast, um, you should totally like make that to where we can set that to have permanently share sound. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't do that. We don't want to have to remember to do that every time we do a share screen where we have to click that little checkbox. Yeah. It's a pain in the asshole. Leo, yeah, that's just... Quit, quit, being so, just quit being so awesome. He's, yeah. yeah. Listen to this. Yeah. Groove, this is for you. Leo Red says, Jolie had a little noise, the gateway to hell. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> that's why I left. Oh, all right. I don't know how loud this is going to be. So let's. All right. We good? Hey, go there yeah, for give her, Chris, give Christmas shot. in the hood. So the next story is not a bunch of hot air. Police found a balloon which was taken in Bloomington, a hot air balloon, floating more than 900 miles away in the sunny skies of Florida. <laughs> his head looks like it's going to like float off the top of his head and become a hot air balloon. Hot air balloon festival. They were checking each one to see if they matched the stolen balloon. It is being towed back to its own in Indiana. The Florida Sheriff's Department says this was the first balloon investigation in its 175-year history. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's actually a big accomplishment because, like, you know, to be the first anything in Florida. That's, that's it says they're going to tow the balloon back. What, are they going to have just, like, a big, big, long piece of string and then just drive that son of a bitch? Uh, <laughs> Why don't they just deflate it and then fold it up? And, just and put it in the back the of a truck? That's what yeah, I was thinking. I was going to yeah. say, that, that makes more sense than... Uh, yeah, get the old guy from up to drive it back. <laughs> right? Him and uh him and the little fat kid. I mean, at this point, couldn't you just strap a couple of drones to it and fly it back home? Yeah. Yeah. Could. That'll work. It says yeah. police officers in Florida have recovered a hot air balloon stolen in Indiana, almost nine hundred miles away. On Saturday night, Bloomington Police Department in Indiana contacted Marion County Sheriff's Office in Florida to alert the force to a stolen hot air balloon, according to a statement that gi the gigantic item had been spotted at the village's, holy shit, hot air balloon in Florida Florida Horse Park. <laughs> that, okay, on, uh, yeah, uh, 11,008 South Highway, 475 Ocala, Florida. So, Groove, that's like, it's like an hour. Yeah, I know me. where Ocala is. Yeah. yeah. Shit, shit uh, always goes down where I'm at. It just follows the, me everywhere. Yeah, and the villages is just an old people town. Literally it. Highest rate for STDs in Florida. All right. Well, that's on. one way to get to Florida. Yep. And anyways, uh the the the, 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 the holy shit, I can't talk. The Indiana <laughs> officer said 
A photo of the missing balloon released by police showed it was decorated in squares of different shades of blue and red. I like how in the video they were like, they're trying to make sure it was the right one. It's like, how many are there that look like that? <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. So, uh, end quote, you're going to think we're full of hot air when you read this. Oh the sheriff's my God, office joke really? On its Facebook wow. page, Marion County Sheriff's Office deputies tasked with investigating the claims confirmed the balloon at the festival was indeed the missing device the owner of the balloon did it press charges according to the marion county sheriff's office he just oh shit all right slow down uh he just wanted his hot air balloon back the statement said the hot air balloon was worth around thirty thousand dollars holy shit jesus dude that, that police car. chief that, that said you're going to think we're full of hot air, he's he's going to go home and uh, beat his wife and get drunk and uh, beat her with a horseshoe after he, he tells her that pun over and over again. <laughs> God. Like he's going to fart in bed with his wife and then he's like, oh, I'm full of hot air. She's going to be like, just sit on the couch. <laughs> Police told Ocala.com they enlisted the help of a towing company to remove the balloon. Um, dude, my screen is just fucking retarded. What's up? Uh, my computer sucks. I should just, you know, not even be on tonight. Uh, the owner is now working with police to see the aircraft return. So, blah, 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 blah. First, you know, case with a balloon in 175 years. My computer sucks. Let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But anyway, that's crazy. Dude, I would have pressed charges. Holy shit. Yeah. Thanks 30 grand. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. It says the incident caused quite a stir with the Marion County Sheriff's Office Facebook post, garnering almost 1,000 likes and over 100 comments. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's fascinating. Uh, man, I wanted to see a high altitude chase, joked one user. All right. Pull over at the next cloud, said another. The force did not release further details, including when the balloon was stolen or what their motive was. Well, ain't this the whole point of the whole like Florida man post is to figure out why? Yeah. That's bullshit. All right. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> of all the things to steal. Of all the things to steal. that That's what they got. I like how like, the like, like, suppose they got caught. Like, how far do they think they would get in a fucking hot air balloon? It's not like you can outrun the police with it around the world in eighty days. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, that's just yeah. That that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But like, that's but how? First of all, what did he just like jump in the basket and like cut the rope with a machete or a knife or something? And well, yeah, like, I mean, he's probably watched that part of Wizard of Oz enough times to know how to operate a hot air balloon. <laughs> he twirled his he twirled his mustache like uh like Spidey Whiplash and went and then flew away. It's I it stage right I even. <laughs> it's didn't they do that in Police Academy? They had a uh, they had a balloon chase. Yeah, uh, Police Academy. It was Citizens on Patrol. Am I the only one that's seen that fucking movie? Yep. God damn it. Yep. Hang on a second. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, dude, that movie was hilarious. Hot air balloon <laughs> chase in Police Academy. The only thing I can say about Police Academy is they're a little bit funnier than like scary movie three, four, and five. <laughs> here, let's see. Wait. I don't. Oh, here. This is. <laughs> All right. This is Police Academy 4, uh, Citizens on Patrol. Now, you all remember G.W. Bailey. and Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, his Sergeant Harris. So here, let me make sure. I, I just remember him as the mall security guy from uh, Mannequin. Mannequin. Yep. Oh, dude, I love him. Him and movie. Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. His Rambo. His doggy. Here we go. This is This is the warning shot by Proctor. This is after they're they're chasing the bad guys in the hot air balloon. You land that balloon right now! This is Captain Harris! You are under arrest! Land that balloon now! Turn left to the next cloud. <laughs> I blast him out of the sky, sir! No, no! I can't! Oh, you're right. I should give him a warning shot first. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> the fuck? 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure if he hit that fucker uh, with a shotgun, that thing would blow up in a, in a pile of flame. They would like start flying, dude. Like oh, it would yeah. propel them, like in the cartoons. Yep. Well, that and that thing's all fucking gas. <clears throat> you know, there's there, you got gas right there too. So yep. uh, you're causing a little spark right next to that flame with that uh, with that twelve gauge. Um, good thing they weren't re- using those dragon breath rounds. Oh God, y'all know. <laughs> I know, Sal. You know what those are. He's got his mic muted. Boom. God damn it. <laughs> the second time. Does, does anybody you know what them dragon's breath rounds are, right? Yeah. That's you, what they should what they should be doing is using fucking slugs like real men. Yeah, I was gonna say you you're you you you're not supposed you're you're a cop, man. Your twelve gauge shouldn't be loaded with buckshot. You should have slugs in there. Hell yeah, fuck them shits up. <laughs> yeah. Them them got <laughs> <damn. laughs> fuck your body armor, fuck the guy behind you, and fuck my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, them fucking them slugs uh, out of a twelve. I I, uh, I got almost got in trouble uh, hunting. We were, we were small game hunting, and I was gonna be a smart ass. I took and uh, I loaded every other round in my Mossberg. Was a uh, I went uh, <laughs> I went buckshot slug buckshot slug. Jesus. Yeah. Um, and that, I, ladies uh, and gentlemen, is how Pete tore his rotator cuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, there there was a uh, there was a a misfire that happened on that trip, and that's why I really don't have much hearing in my left ear. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, that was uh, that was that was almost. Do you remember the South Park episode where Britney Spears shot half her head off? Mm-hmm. That was almost me. Um, Jesus. Oh my god! Yeah, but uh, it, it it went off next to my ear, so I, uh, I I couldn't hear out of my left ear for about. I don't know, four days, and <clears throat> now it kind of rattles around like a blown out car speaker. So if <laughs> people ask me, why do you talk so loud? I'm like, well, it's because I've been deaf basically since I, in one ear uh, for the last, oh, I don't know, 15 years or so. So yeah, does that happen in my early 20s? But yeah, um, that's so like now I don't, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm really careful when I, uh, when I wear my, uh, when I go hunting and everything like that. Like that was a, that was a horrible, um, a horrible almost accident but uh oh, yeah, yeah it, at the end of that i had we were we were dicking around and i, I got out of the truck when everybody was coming back and i was like well let's empty them out and we just started volleying off in the into the trees uh, you know we we're out fucking state land you know and we didn't hear the dnr officer pull up behind us and he's standing there four of us lined up and i mean literally i'm i'm going i'm going buckshot slug buckshot slug out of my mossberg and he goes i don't know what the hell you guys are shooting at but i hope you got it and we all turn around and we're like, we thought it was like one of our friends that showed up because we told him we were hunting and was like, oh no. He's like, can I see your hunting licenses? Yes, sir. We all had licenses and shit. Everybody was legal, you know. It was just kind of funny. I'm just glad I didn't uh he didn't uh, ask me what I had loaded in my uh in my gun or my rifle, I mean. <laughs> to use the correct uh, correct terminology, the uh my rifle. Because this is my rifle and this is my gun. Exactly. I won't finish the rest. You all know it. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is my rifle. This is my gun. There are many like it, and my old lady can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Cody, you got anything else for us, buddy? That's it, man. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. Well, that was our supernatural representative from the Florida Man delegation, Commander oh. Cody, ladies and gentlemen. That is correct. I'll have some more later on next next week. I'll have some. Uh, I'll actually have some supernatural stories next week because I haven't haven't had any. It's all been Florida man this, Florida man that, Michigan man this. You know. Well, you know, if I ever get on the news and uh, I'm incarcerated during the boardroom, you guys can just do a story about me. I'll give you a live interview from jail. I'll bail you out. <laughs> Good because my you. wife won't. Nah, no, nah, probably not. That's why I'll bail you out. Actually, she would because then she'd have to find somebody to watch the kid, and that'd be a whole thing. So, yeah, yeah, baby, babysitter ads on Craigslist just doesn't go well. <laughs> yeah, but is it is it cheaper to find a sitter or to pay the bail money? Mm, probably bail pay, probably bail out. Yeah. Oh wait, here's, <laughs> here's Le- Leo Red. Uh, I had a negligent discharge when I shot the ceiling in my bedroom with my Smith and Wesson M and P shield. My right ear was ringing for like two days. Oh yeah, dude, those are those. Are, Ugh, those are never any fucking fun. God damn. Yep. Yeah, mine was a twelve gauge. That was uh, yeah. That like I said, that 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 cost me some hearing. So, 
it uh it, i tell you what though it really negated the effects of uh years and years of uh subwoofers and amps in my cars i'll tell you that that wasn't the problem anymore <laughs> <laughs> but so now that we've 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 gone through the director of marketing we've been through the supernatural delegation and the florida man group let's head down to the groovinator groovinator what do you got for us i Better don't know be good. I, I, I didn't see an outline what do i have for you we didn't get we i didn't do outlines tonight um, oh you didn't do outlines i did not uh because you had uh we were going to do some james bond you want to watch the trailer oh yeah stuff? let's watch the trailer and then we'll just talk because i have not seen this trailer yet so yeah i will pull up i'm sorry i'll pull no, up the trailer no, and fine. uh um i didn't know what subject we were jumping into next, no so today like, was a cluster hey, Ruben, what do you got i'm like i didn't know it was show I, until today i, I apologize that no was problem, that, that, that's my fault i'm usually more prepared than that and then i i come stumbling in late like hey, what are we doing guys what yeah but we we, we, talk, we talked before class I, I signed your hall pass you're good you were right it's, on. It, family stuff man that that takes precedence over everything okay so this trailer went up 13 hours ago and I'm going to do it right this time. I'm going to hit share audio. There we go. All right. Moving up. Okay. We're getting better at this. Like we're, George we're, and we're slowly going to get better at this. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is the uh, the James Bond 007 No Time to Die official trailer 2020 Daniel Craig movie, in case you didn't know. Why do I see an ad for Imodium on Instagram? <laughs> Trying to tell us something? I don't know what the fuck's happening. I'm not old. Oh, that car. <laughs> I love yeah. that car so much. We all have our secrets. You just didn't get to yours yet. It's the great wall of masculinity. <laughs> you know, he has all the charisma the and a, re- a wet burrito. Mm-hmm. Where's 007? <laughs> I need a favor, brother. Is that sandals resort? This, <laughs> the world's moved on, Commander Bond. You a double O. Two years. Uh, 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 so stay in your lane. You get another no nice car, though. I will put a bullet in your knee. The one that works. I thought you two would get along. Let's fucking shoot her Bond. and end it. She told James Bond to stay in his fucking lane. Of course. James Are you surprised? Bond. No. So you're not dead. Hello, Q. I've missed you. It's the most valuable asset this country has. I hate if this version of Q. Control, I miss John I'm Cleese. Lose. Yes. Oh, here's another one. Control. James, you gave up everything for her. Well, at least they're bringing back... Uh, Blofeld. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. What is it? You don't know what this is. Yeah, see, I haven't seen any of the ones with Blofeld in them. There's only been one. Oh, he's he's the the newest version of Blofeld. Yeah, he was in the last one. Yep, that was the big reveal. Is that he's Blofeld? Okay, he's he's in charge of Spectre. Only you still with your body. Mine will survive long after I'm gone. History is kind to men who play God. Why did they show without his mask? That was a big mistake. Nice. Oh, that shit's sweet. That is one good That's thing. That's the I only good part of the trailer right there is the car. Yep. The rest of it can fuck off. Can oh, man. Like oh, there's so much anger with me about that. And I'm not even a big Bond fan. All right. I'll go see this movie from my channel for God and Country. Um, but yeah, if if the big reveal is that <sighs> she's the new 
if she's the new James Bond, if that's the big, sorry, I had something playing in the background. It was distracting me. Um, yeah. If it's revealed that she's the new James Bond, then I'm going to be the first one to tell you guys, I'll spoil the shit out of this movie. Yeah. You can, you can right go off the bat. Like I'll go live as soon as I get home and I will spoil the shit out of it forever. I wonder how many songs Adele's going to do for this one. <laughs> Dude, actually, Adele, uh, the one that she did was one of the better ones because the 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 Sam was it Sam Cook that did Sam, the last Sam one. Smith. Sam, Sam Smith. Smith. Yep. That song was awful. I mean, I it hurt my ear holes. So I don't like the, Sam Smith. The, the Skyfall with. one at least sounded like classic James Bond. Like you, you want like a torch singer. I yep. think they should pick Lady Gaga to do a James. Oh, Bond song. she like, would fucking. She'd nail it. Yeah. Because Madonna had a chance and she kind of fucking blew it because that song was kind of shit. All right, but then again, that movie was kind of shit too, so it didn't really matter. But da 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 double o da double o seven seven. I was trying to do it. Duran Duran did a goddamn Bond song in the eight. Yeah, their song was better than the movie. Yeah, you do a kill. That you do a kill. Best part of that movie is the song. Yeah, you know who else did? Paul McCartney and Wings. Live and let die. Aha did Living Daylights. Oh, nice. I yeah. forgot about that one. I know about all the songs, man. I have a CD that I listen to that has all okay. the songs on it. All right. so I, I, the I'm ca- I'm a Bond fan. Um, uh huh. I haven't been a huge fan of Daniel Craig. Uh, oh. The only one of these that I've really liked so far was Skyfall because it felt like James Bond. It, it was it was a good James Bond movie. Everything else, my problem with the whole Daniel Craig era is it's they're constantly trying to make James Bond be like something else instead of just be like James Bond and they keep fucking it up by doing that. They keep chasing all these other trends. So this whole era of Daniel Craig, James Bond has had no identity. None. Huh. So I'll be, I won't be sad to see him go at all. Get, get him out of there. But I, I'm worried as to who they're going to replace him with and how woke is it going to be? And how woke is this movie going to be? Oh God. I, I, I replace him with Tom Holland. <laughs> No, please. That's not funny. Tom no. Hardy, I could see him as James Bond. I'd totally do Tom Hardy's James Bond. 100 percent Yeah, Tom Hardy would be Tom Hardy would be solid. Tom Hardy, Bond. Tom Hiddleston's another name that's come up. I could see that. Um Hell yeah. don't, at one point that I thought maybe um uh who's the guy that plays uh Magneto, the younger Magneto who plays oh, Fastbender. Michael, Michael Fastbender. Fastbender would have been good, but I think he's um not going to have enough charisma. I don't think he's going to do it either. I, I think John Ham McAvoy would have been good too. Yeah, yeah. Ma- McAvoy could. Definitely McAvoy could have nailed it. Yeah. So John Ham. John Ham's another one, man. Back when they were, when they had Hugh Jackman's name in the hat, I was all for that too. But I think he's a little too old to do it now. So yeah, because he's uh, he's what fifty, I think. Yeah. But they're still talking about bringing him back to play Wolverine. You got to get somebody in their like mid to late thirties to do it. You know. So. I mean, uh, I'm not saying he doesn't look movie. good. It's just he's too old to start doing a whole series of movies, you know. Yeah, so you gotta bring somebody. You got to bring somebody younger in. Yeah, I've heard Henry Henry Cavill's name thrown in a couple of times. Too. That was my suggestion. I thought Henry Cavill would have made an excellent James Bond. I especially yep. thought yep. so after watching him in that last Mission Impossible movie. I'm like, I could totally see this guy. And also, he practically did a James Bond movie. He did the the remake of um, what's that spy show? Uh, Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It came out a couple of years ago. It's actually not that bad of a movie. He's he's in it with um oh god. This this is what old people do. I this spy? is this, yeah, no, it wasn't I spy. It was something similar to that though. Um damn it. I'll have to look these up now. Because this this is this is what happens in your old age. Uh they they say when you get older, the first thing you forget is your memory, and I forget the other two. So <laughs> I'll see here. Well, I got the best casting for James Bond. You ready? Yeah. Dana Radcliffe, oh. even better. Brie Larson. Oh, you're oh, an Jesus. idiot. You're an idiot. All right, um, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> We're pulling your card. Here's what it was. It was the man from Uncle. Yeah, he was in that, and he practically is James Bond in that movie. Except he, has, except he has a yeah man from Uncle U N C L E. That's the the organization. But yeah, he's he's playing an American in the movie, but he's totally acting like James Bond. Okay. James Bogan. James, James Bogan. Bogan. <laughs> Bogan. Bogan. James, James Bogan. Bogan. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that that Lashana. Steve Carell. Steve Carell. But I'm I'm wondering how much of Phoebe Waller-Bridge's stink is going to be on the fucking script and uh 
that font sucks for that poster. As yeah, as totally. that and font that is thing. terrible. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I, nobody wants a woke James Bond movie. And the thing is, too, is going woke with that is a terrible idea because people forget Spectre didn't do all that fantastic in the theater either. It wasn't as good as Skyfall. The best part of Spectre is the opening scene where they're in Mexico City and they're doing the Day of the Dead uh, festival. And they actually had a parade, which from what I understand, there was no such thing as a Day of the Dead parade until that movie came out. And then it was such a big success in the theaters and everything that they just started having parades for it after that. So a movie started a tradition. Huh. Yeah. Mexico City has a Day of the Dead parade now because of Skyfall. Movie trivia by yours like truly at Raiders of Lost Flicks. Yay! <clears throat> you are the movie guy. Have you guys seen that movie, though, um, Spectre? That's, that's the last one that came out. It's actually, if you watch just the opening sequence of it, like it, it, it's one continuous shot, and he's in Mexico City, and everybody's got their, their Day of the Dead makeup on and their costumes and everything. It's oh, I saw. Elaborate. Okay, yeah. I that saw. scene is fucking awesome. And then the rest of the movie blows. Like yeah, it, like the it's buildings, really boring. Yeah, the buildings are like crashing, and he's like yes. sliding down walls and yeah. shit. It's fantastic. It's one of the best opening sequences in a Bond movie ever, and that's the best part of the movie. The rest of the movie is really, really dull. Like, oh, then really, I have seen that one. Okay, I was yeah. thinking I saw the one before that. Yeah, the one before that was Skyfall. Yeah. Okay, I thought. I, okay, never mind. I saw Spectre. I didn't see Skyfall. Okay. Yeah, it goes this way. It's it's uh. Um, that shows how much of a Bond fan I am. Casino Royale, and then Quantum of Solace, then <laughs> Skyfall, and then Spectre. Those are the four that Daniel Craig has done so far. Oh, okay. I, I saw the first two. I saw Quantum of Solace and uh, Casino Royale. Now I Daniel Craig dick dick get kind of dicked over in the field because he was supposed to do more movies, but there was this whole like licensing problem going on with the broccolis, and uh, there were a couple of years there in between Quantum of Solace and Skyfall where a movie didn't happen because the rights were being negotiated. So Daniel Craig did a couple of video games to fill in the gaps. So that's why he's been all salty since they've come back because the last movie didn't make all the money in the world and there was a couple of years where he was not allowed to be James Bond in a movie format. So he got kind of fucked over in that deal. But he's still a lousy James Bond, so I don't care. He just, you know, they wanted to go serious with him. They wanted to make him more like Jason Bourne and people really aren't even into Jason Bourne anymore. So they need to go back to just being like, the James Bond that we remember, you know, yeah, fast women, spies, action, uh, humor. You know what I mean? Go back to that gadgets. Bring back all the damn gadgets. Although that car with those guns in the end, that was pretty dope. Yes, that all right, was all right, guys. I, I got it figured out. This is no bullshit. I just sent a picture of the guy in our group chat. The My number one pick for the replacement for James Bond is Aaron Tyler Johnson. Uh, yeah, he, he is the guy that I can see that Quicksilver. He was in yep, Kick Ass. Uh, yeah, Kick Ass. He was in I think the Last King or something. It's a movie on Netflix where he plays uh, Robert the Bruce. Oh, I've been wanting and to watch that. He's also the uh, lead male actor opposite Brian Cranston in the first in the Godzilla movie. Yep. Oh, okay. So, now I know who it is. Yeah, he's he's a really really great actor. And, Where he uh, bangs Scarlet Witch, his sister, in another movie. Yep. So there's like like seven. I just yep. don't want to see Jane Jane Bond because that that completely just disrespects the hell out of the the whole franchise, man. Oh, you know, yeah. it, it's it's this is not this was this was the started as a male fantasy movie, and you know what? It's not just liked by men; it's liked by men and women. What if she sleeps with him in the movie? Oh, I'm she sure they. She I'm sure they probably will, but so what? Her, yeah. her and Lashana Lynch, or yeah. Craig and Lashana Lynch. I just don't want Lashonda Lynch to be the next James Bond. I don't no, want that to be gonna... the big reveal at the end of this movie. I, it's just, it's going to piss me. It's going to piss everybody off, dude. She's going to shoot I don't him want down that. like a Scud missile because she ain't got time for no pale male stale superhero. That's she's just it. I, I don't, I don't want this to be seven. another another gender studies experiment and woke preachy garbage. I, I just, I'm tired of that. Leave that out. This is escapist entertainment. James Bond is is supposed to be fun it's male fantasy i don't understand why male can't have male fantasy anymore why that's not allowed because that's offensive it. to the delicate sensibilities of, of weirdos on twitter with blue they check marks. don't see it 
<laughs> don't go see it. Stay home and watch yourself instead in a mirror. Oh, trust me. I'm I'm right there with you on that because those people, they just ruin everything. They're like fun suckers. Right. It's, it's like I, I started calling them nitpickers because like it's like the people that were sitting around complaining about the Mandalorian counting how many minutes until oh. like a woman speaks in the movie. Oh. It's like, yeah. come on. We were talking about that last night. Uh, Anna Paquin is in The Irishman. And uh, she doesn't have a lot of lines, you know. And I'm like, oh, yeah. you just wait. Somebody's going to be complaining about that too. And sure, they already enough, were. They're, they're they're already on that. Yeah, it's like yep. Anna Paquin's in it, but she doesn't have lines. I'm like, do you understand that some, certain characters have a role in the movie, and not all of them is to just be standing up on top of a soapbox saying things to people? Yep. You know, they don't, they're not interested in that. They're just they're just tearing the, the film apart to make sure that there's representation and fuck everything else. So. Oh, I got into it on, uh, and, and this is the worst place to to take it to draw that line in the sand is on, on an indie wire comment thread uh, yesterday about the actor from um, the new Aladdin movie um, not being able to get cast in other roles, and I said, well, you know, I was like, maybe he's just not that good of an actor. I'm like, and you have to remember when you're cast in movies, you're not looking to check boxes. You're looking for, uh, you know, the the best actor to play the role. And you know who you know who gave me the most shit out of anybody on that on that whole thread? A bunch of fucking white dudes. <laughs> you're such a closet racist. Well, we see so one look at your profile says you're not too worried about oh, structural yeah. and institutional I, I, I've racism. I had all that thrown in my direction I'm like, too. I, you know, I, I had like two. I had two people in in out of like a hundred in that comment thread that uh that were like um you're totally twisting what he said and one dude was like middle eastern like i couldn't even pronounce his name and i was like thank you i'm like at least somebody recognized what i was saying and actually read the words and didn't read the words and then put their own fucking spin on i had you know somebody I mean? go all psycho on me when i was doing my brie larson videos you know i was just like you know i'm like does this person is, is, is brie larson a journalist does she understand how newspapers work because i have a pretty good idea how they work I can yeah. lay one out by myself. I know about n newspapers. It's like you put your best person on the job. If that person doesn't happen to be the race that you wanted them to be, I'm sorry. That's not how the business works. You put your best person on the job. Okay. It's not, you know, this, whatever. I just don't, I don't even want to get into it again. I'm yep. And it. that's what they said. They're like, yeah, well, look at your profile. You're just a racist. I'm like, Oh God! It's like I said. Okay, picture you. You're the the Chicago Sun Times, seventies. All right, and you got Roger Ebert is still your your critic. Okay, I think it was Sun Times. Hopefully, I'm not getting this wrong. But uh, maybe it's a Tribune. I don't know. Roger Ebert's your movie critic. All right, you you've got movie high profile movie Captain Marvel, Brie Larson. Are you going to put Roger Ebert on that assignment, or are you just going to get somebody that just graduated from college like two days ago because? They happen to be, you know, a female or a person of color. Are you going to put Roger Ebert on that job or just the other person because representation? That's always been my argument. I get yep. accused of being things because I said that, you know, it's like, um, okay. You must be like the worst racist ever because a lot of people like us. So I know, I don't know. I mean, you know, I just, I, I, I uh, at this point though we're we're used <laughs> to seeing so many franchises destroyed by this yep. you know this, this these narratives that we're just waiting for it. The only thing is is James Bond can have a dud, and they'll figure out what doesn't work. And you know it's not like James Bond hasn't been replaced after one movie before <laughs> George George Lazenby, Lazenby. <laughs> and then you had Timothy Dalton that did two movies. You know, so yep. go ahead, put Lashawn Lynch in a James Bond movie and see how many people turn up. And then I guarantee you they'll fucking change it the very next movie. They'll be they'll be either asking for Daniel Craig to come back if they don't kill him. You know, off, Sony needs it. that franchise. Is it isn't it Sony that puts out the the, uh, the Bond movies? I think sure so. It's Sony, yeah, they need the money. That you know what I mean. They need the money. They they can scream and jump up and down at res representation all day. At the end of the day, they need the money. And if a Shonda Lynch driven James Bond movie doesn't make any money, they will change. I assure you, they'll change it. Hopefully yeah. they pick Henry Cavill. I think he'd be good. I think he'd be great. If yeah, they're gonna, he, if, when he and giving him the right role and just giving him his natural accent, he has a lot of personality. Uh, you know, you don't really see that when he's playing Superman, but I've I've seen him in other stuff, and he's got a lot of potential. You, know, I, I looked it up real quick because I always forget that too. It's actually MGM who owns James Bond. Okay, okay. I forgot yes. that MGM was still a company. 
Yeah, so they definitely need James Bond. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. think they got a whole lot else going for him. So, you know, unless they're, they're sitting on a big pile of money that we don't know about, uh, <laughs> they need James Bond to be marketable. Okay. Disney's yeah. probably going to buy them after this movie comes out. Oh, but don't oh, say shut that. Up. Uh, you, shut you, up. You shut, you shut your whore mouth. Not funny. <laughs> you shut your whore mouth. It's not funny, man. He's living Game in a world of over, man. Fucking Disney would, <laughs> so, too. Pretty shit now. Yeah. Does anyone have any anything else? Because I think that's a that's a good segue into our next topic. Speaking of franchises and Disney. Oh God, yeah. Um, we're gonna talk about Star Wars here. Um, Yay! I uh, I am. <clears throat> ugh, yeah. I'm not just okay. So the Rose of Skywalker. The Rose of Skywalker. All right. The Rose of Alabama. So let's see here. Uh, first, I want to I want to click on this if my shit doesn't freeze here. Uh, we're gonna screen share this little article. And we're gonna we're gonna just whoops I don't need to share audio. There's no audio there. We're going to look at this. and this is uh, from an author uh, and I use a writer. I uh, I use that term uh, writer very loosely when it comes to these articles. Um, Adam B. Very, who used to write for BuzzFeed. So if that tells you anything about his journalistic integrity, um, I need not say anything else. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Finn and Poe aren't boyfriends, but J.J. Abrams hints at alphabet people representation. Alphabet people. <laughs> oh, so That's a good one. This is this is a great opening line. Striking a lightsaber into the hearts of Star Wars fans, it appears that a romance between Poe Dameron and Finn will not materialize in Star Wars The Rise of Soy Walker. But does that necessarily mean there won't be any alphabet people representation in the final film in the Skywalker saga either? Like, I, I can't keep that up in this voice, but oh, no. the, star, the Star Wars fan community latched on to the notion of a romantic connection between Finn and Poe almost immediately after the premiere of Star Wars The Farce Awakens in 2015. Shipping the care, shipping the characters with hashtags like Finn Poe and Storm Pilot. Oh my God. Are these people that stupid? So, are, they're complaining about like alphabet representation. Have they even heard of C3PO? Yeah. Like for real, he's been around since the seventies. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't, I don't think they have. Uh, so let's see. Speaking with variety at the Rise of Skywalker press junket on Tuesday, however, Oscar Isaac expressed regret at the natural chemistry between Poe and Finn in the Farce Awakens was not explored in an overly romantic way in Star Wars: The Last Dumpster Fire, and wouldn't be in the Rise of Soywalker. Personally, I kind of hoped and wished that maybe we would have taken further and we would have been taken further in other films, but I don't have control of that, Isaac. It seemed like a natural progression, but sadly enough, at the time when people are too afraid, I think, of I don't know what. Like, is he really like throwing that virtue signal out there? I mean, because Oscar Isaac is not, I, I, not to the best of my knowledge, he's not gay. Um, so well, is he and to think is, Billy D. Williams was gender liquid, but oh no. Yeah. Um, because like Oscar Isaac, I, I really like I mean, I don't have a problem with him as an actor. I thought he was decent and was it X-Men Apocalypse? Um but sucked ass. It wasn't good, but I mean he was all right. Uh, I, he's a great actor. If you watch um uh, Ex Machina. See, I've never seen that. Act. Oh, he's excellent. Yeah, ex he's Oscar really Isaac's good. awesome in that movie. Yeah, that's a great freaking movie. Ex Machina. Love now him so and uh, him and Hux are both in that, right? Yep. The guy that plays and they're that. both okay. really good in it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so so they Hux. can't act. It's just Star Wars it's, that makes it's, them. It's uh, yeah, it's Oscar Isaac, uh, whatever that guy's name is, and um, Alicia Vikander. Okay, and but in, Hux is also in The Revenant, and he's really good in that. Yeah. The Revenant with Leo and Tom Hardy. Uh -huh. I haven't I seen that one. I fucking hated that movie. Hux is also <laughs> in Harry Potter, so that's why I give him a pass. I, I I watched The Revenant and nothing against it if you like it. I just I was bored to tears and like yeah, Ex Machina is on Netflix. You guys should really uh, treat yourself to that one. Uh, you'll be surprised how good it is. I'll check that out. Yep. 
I'll check that out after I watch it because I'm going to watch the Irishman tomorrow night. So, oh yeah, watch that instead because because we're, we're reviewing it this week. Yeah, but yeah, when you get a chance, definitely watch Ex Machina. Um, it's it's a really good science fiction flick. That was that was one that when it was coming out, I, I saw previews and I was like, "This looks good." And I don't know why I never watched it; I just didn't. But I, the, I tried I, to go see it. I, I was trying to talk people into go seeing it with me, and everybody's just like, nah. "So I just never went." But I, I made sure I bought it the day it came out on Blu-ray, and I absolutely loved it. So, what did, what did Leo Red say? D and D is going to direct the next James Bond movies. No, they're not. Is he talking about? Is he talking about Ben Alpha Weiss? Yeah, Dan and Day. Oh God, please no. Um. No, I thought it was about Dungeons and Dragons. I know it's like Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, D and D, because that's a term that just kind of goes with role playing. Yeah. Yep. I just, I just always think of Dungeons and Dragons. I hear that. Uh, Isaac noted the ambiguity of the characters' relationship might allow more people to see themselves in the characters, but if they would have been boyfriends, that would have been fun. Fun for who? Two in the stunning, one in the brave, ladies and gentlemen. Two in the stunning, one in the brave. Though he was less definitive than Isaac, Boyega also noted the lack of clear romantic connection between Finn and Poe in the Rise of Skywalker while speaking with Variety. Who fucking cares? Does John Boyega even give a shit anymore? I mean, he left his script in a fucking hotel room. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, if that if that right there doesn't tell you how much he doesn't give a shit about Star Wars anymore, I mean, I don't know what does. Uh, they've always had quite a loving and open relationship in which it wouldn't be too weird if they went beyond it, Boyega said. But at the same time, they are just platonic at the moment. Even the Rise of Skywalker director Jar Jar Abrams famously circumspect about revealing anything about his films in advance cast some doubt on Finpo coming to life in this film oh jar jar you and stuff your... dude this kind of stuff i swear to god this just... like i said this this, this, this is dude... clown world 2019 that's all the fuck this is hong kong stop <laughs> caving into the tumblr mafia says link like seven <sighs> yep the relationship to me is far deeper than a romantic one abrams told variety it is a deep bond that these two have not just because of the trial by fire in which they met but also because of their willingness to be as intimate as they are, as afraid as they, as unsure as they are, and still be bold and still be daring and brave. Just say stunning and brave, JJ, you fuck. You know, it's stunning and brave if it's a woman, but if it's a guy, it's daring and brave. If daring you learned brave. anything by the Joker this year, it's proof that uh, your Twitter outrage has zero effect on the movie industry. Zero. In fact, if yep. anything, if you're outraged about it, might sell a few extra tickets. Just saying. Oh, God. Let's see what else we got here. While this would appear to foreclose the possibility of an obvious Finn and Poe romance, Abram still left the door open to a different form of alphabet people representation in this film. The filmmaker noted he's always strived to find a cast for Star Wars that, quote, looked more the way the world looks than not. Motherfucker, you're not making a movie about this world. What don't these people understand about this bullshit? You're making a movie about a galaxy far, far away. It doesn't even need to look like Earth or resemble it. The problem is these people are, are more obsessed with making statements than they are with making anything to be entertained by. That's, like, as long as this happens, channels like us will continue to bitch about this stuff. Over just make a Transformers over over. movie if that's what you want to do, buddy. <laughs> Transgenders more than meets the eye. The Transgenders <laughs> grows eye. to be a guy. <laughs> <laughs> women in truck stop bathrooms hide their penises from me i can't even anymore i can't <laughs> i'm gonna write the lyrics to that tonight though and in the case of the alphabet people community it was more important to me that people who go to the see this movie feel that they are being represented in the film abram said <sighs> Jesus Christ, dude. Do These they are have... the kind of interviews that always ruin the movie before it comes out. Do they not know this? Have they Did... not figured this out? This care. is where this is the part where Kathleen Kennedy always blows it because she should be controlling what these people yep. say in these interviews. She don't yep. care either. She you know how much money she's no. making. Yep. She's just, she's all about the representation too. So she this is these are the things that are more important to her than you know uh fan happiness. Oh, so this next line, this just sets off this entire thing right here. So without spoiling the film, Variety asked, does that mean there will be a queer character in the Rise of Skywalker? And Jar Jar replied, 
I will say I'm giving away nothing about what happens in the movie. Abrams replied with a smile, but I did just say what I said. There's the mystery box. It's all right. Not going to this movie. Don't give uh, a shit. I Don't am. give. I can't. I can't find a single mm-hmm. fuck, man. Like, what? I, I could what? dig for days and not find a single Let's, fuck. Hang on a second. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I can click on this guy's name. Days and days and days and not find a single fuck. Let, let's see what Adam B. Very. Look at his. What a dick nose. J.J. Abrams. It literally, dude. I can't even. Like his nose looks like a penis. This is. Let's see what other. He looks he, like the Slim Jim guy got a haircut. What is this? Is Wait till it... you see Joe Pesci's nose in The Irishman. I saw it in a preview. I was like, okay. what? I was just wondering if you noticed that or not. I, it, I did. It, it looked about as bad as this one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go to... Uh, mm, should we do box office predictions or leaks from the new trailer? Reveals how Kylo and Rey find the Emperor. Honestly, I give oh, a shit either way. Sure. I just like it. it's like it's like making me choose between shit and piss. Which, which one? Which one? Which do the emperor one. All right, <sighs> we'll, we'll skip the we'll skip the box office because I can just summarize that article and just say right now that the box office tracking is down. So sh- I can see them making like a kids version of how to find the emperor. <laughs> it's like Dora. It's like, can you find the emperor? It's like a little maze. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Good job. You Yay. just stop in the middle of the movie and they say, "Okay, text your phones to this number right here." What you think the answers are below? <laughs> Here's the map. There's a the map. There's a the map. There's a celebrate. Back, I, back. I haven't. <laughs> I'm gonna stop sharing here for a second because I'm gonna turn the audio on uh, because I have not seen this Whoa. TV spot yet. So, dude, here, here we wa- go. Warrior Leia. Warrior Leia. This what is if it's Maz- so bad? What if like. Leia dies, which she probably will, and then like her force ghost and Holdo's force ghost are like, together. Yeah, they're, they're scissoring. And Holdo's not a Jedi, so ooh. <laughs> here's uh, all right. Here's the uh, let's let's make this full screen. Here is the god damn it. We passed on all we want. A thousand generations. His helmet now. looks so fucking stupid. But this is your fight. On December 20th, the saga will end. Hold on! Let the final battle begin. You know, the joke of this is the saga has already ended. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been over for a long time now. That, that saga. It ended, it ended about two years ago, goddammit. Yeah, that's, that saga's been over. For a, for a long time. Oh, this is Jake Kleinman on December 3rd. We thought he was dead, but it appears Emperor Palpatine has been out there all along, lurking somewhere on the edge of the galaxy. We still don't know where. One popular rumor is he's been hiding on a new planet called Exegol, which is from the uh, EU, I believe, isn't it? Didn't they use Exegol in the EU? I can't remember. That doesn't sound familiar. No. Okay, I didn't read all the EU, so I couldn't tell you. It's, it's a lot of a lot of books there for me to get through. Let's see. But a fresh Star Wars leak could reveal how Kylo Ren finds Palps. I hate when they call him Palps. I just I, I don't know. Finds at the start of Episode Nine, the Rise of Skywalker. Like There's nothing really intimidating about Palps, is it? No. Unless you have like some Palps under your breast or uh, you know <laughs> uh, some Palps in your heart. Yeah. Uh, the latest. What go ahead, Sal? I was gonna say this. This movie would probably be better, like most orange juice with no palp. <laughs> yeah, I like this, that. This one. is gonna. I tell you what. I can yeah. tell you the the spoiler. Spoiler at the, the end of this movie right now. It's gonna end like uh, Game of Thrones did with a lot of people in upheaval. Yep. Over it. Uh, I I put I I put money on free that. videos for our channels for days. Except my my channel, I can't do Star Wars because nobody gives a shit about it. <laughs> or my channel. No. Vitamin C I'll, later. I'll, I'll be I'll, talking about the other movies that people give a shit about. I'll, I'll try it, but I mean, it's, I don't know, we'll see. I, I, I think I got more traction on my channel when I was just like turning my camera on and reading articles <laughs> than when I'm putting four hours into editing a 16 minute video. So I'm probably going to scream when I see this movie. Oh, um, I already warned my, because uh, like I said, I'm taking my mom to see it. I already warned her that uh, I am not going to be able to control my sarcasm and my uh, my snark during this during the showing. So I honestly like the more I the more I think about it and the closer we get to the release, I really 
I honestly, I don't want to go see it, but I'm no, me either. To. I have, I have no desire to give them my, well, it's like in my theater, it's like seven bucks, but I can't I mean, say this is the first time I felt that way either. Cause I didn't want to go see solo. So I just didn't, I just, yeah, I didn't sat, either. I, I, that was the first star Wars movie I ever sat out. And this yep. one here, I I'm, I just don't care. I, I'm not boycotting. I just, I'm not interested in where it goes from here. I just yeah. don't give a damn. Like the thing about Solo was like everyone already knew it was going to suck. Yep. And no one gave a shit. Like, and all of these leaks just make it sound like Plan 9 from Outer Space. It's it's so, a fucking, it's a mess. It is. So, it's a big fucking shit show. It's like that a was, sci-fi channel original. A Siffy. Yeah. A Siffy original. When I was in the barbershop today with the kid, that's, uh, that they had sci-fi on and it was some movie. I, I What the hell's the guy? It was like Jason Patrick and John Cusack. I have no idea what it was. But uh, let's see. The latest Star Wars trailer features at least one big reveal <sighs> in Leia's lightsaber. But it could be hiding an even bigger one in plain sight. According to a new report from Star Making Wars and Jason Ward, one shot in the Rise of Skywalker TV spot reveals how both Rey and Kylo will travel to Exegol and confront Emperor Palpatine. Leia doesn't oh. have a lightsaber in this trailer. It's fucking Luke's. Yep. And Leia didn't have a lightsaber in any of these fucking movies. She did in the EU, but not not in the goddamn. <laughs> they go out of their way before any of these were made, even Episode Seven, and they're like, "Yeah, she's not a Jedi. She's yep. she never got trained. She just was a politician." But she's oh like, fuck! Yes. Yep. Let's yeah. see. Uh, now she suddenly floats. Wondering okay, why Pennywise? <laughs> wondering why everything is an odd shade of red? Well, according to Star they Making Wars, float down here. They we're we're float. looking we're looking at the entrance to hyperspace lane to Exegol. In either in other words, this is how Kylo and later Ray will reach Emperor Palpatine. Oh, so that's they're going to use that MacGuffin, the Wayfinder, and then the dagger. Yo, this, float too. Did you see that? Oh. There's a picture of her with that Sith dagger. And it's her like putting it up to the like horizon and looking through it, like in the Goonies. Oh, that shit's real. Yeah. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) I'm not fucking kidding about that. (laughs) That was a Photoshop picture. This is the point. This is the point that we've reached. There's so much fucking shit behind this movie. We can't tell what's real and what isn't. Like, even if we went to the theater, we'd probably be thinking, "Is this like a fan print, or it's like you know a, a YouTube version of a Star Wars movie?" I thought that was a Photoshop dagger. I thought they just got a picture of her arm from another like screenshot and just put it on there and then put the dagger in her hand. Oh, no, I'm, God. I'm, I'm fairly certain that is real because she supposedly they recover some Sith dagger. I saw one on Facebook, like somebody like made a meme or something. And it's like her holding a dagger. And then on the bottom, it's like she's looking out at the water, the Death Star, and there's the Dragon Zord from Power Rangers. But the, the the picture is like real with her with the fucking dagger. I'm like that's that's what's bad about the whole thing. It's like seriously they're doing they're doing a a, a gimmick from the Goonies in this movie. Now. I kind of wish like the Dragon Zord was real. Like that'd be really cool. <laughs> fuck you, JJ Abrams. Just yeah. fuck you, dude. Fuck you know, off. I, yeah, I fuck I, you, JJ, for not putting Power Rangers in this shit. I thought I hated Ryan Johnson. JJ's getting up there, man. Like. This dumb son of a bitch is fuck him too. Him. Ryan Johnson, JJ Abrams are just they, those people should just stay away from science fiction forever. Ryan Johnson should stay away from movies, period. Forever. You know, you want to fix this? Give it to Paul Verhoeven and, and make it a rated R Star Wars. Watch it be amazing. Probably. Can we uh can we can we get a role for Casper Van Dien? <laughs> It'd be better than Ray. Not exactly. And Kylo, Darth Emo. Uh, let's see. Um, according to this report, Kylo <laughs> makes the trip early in Rise of Soy Walker. Once there, he walks under the giant cube and finds an old man in his bed claiming to be Darth Sidious. Soon afterwards, the rest of the First Order follows their leader, reuniting the new evil army with the remains of the Galactic Empire. Later in the movie, Ray and her squad, hashtag squad goals, allegedly visit the remains of the Death Star on Endor where they find a Wayfinder device that leads them to Exegol 2. How fucking convenient. This gives Finn and newcomer Janna a chance to stop the First Order once and for all while Ray confronts the Emperor, who's apparently her grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ray fucking Ray. I really hope Palpatine. that this movie is as bad as it sounds because it's the, the, the YouTube videos are going to be so entertaining. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm Guarantee looking you they're so not going to. 
I'm looking so forward to the Phantom Menace videos yep. about this movie. It's going to go on for like at least a good month, if not more. Well, I guarantee you they're not going to explain how she's his granddaughter. They're just going to be like, ah, my granddaughter. I think Ray. He, it was the midichlorians. <laughs> it was the midichlorians. Oh, God. It's just like, they're. I mean, it's going to be what they always do. They're going to like make this this movie is going to have a lot of bullshit in it they're not going to explain as much as they should and then they're going to be like you need to buy all these comics and books to understand yep. why and subscribe this to disney great. plus and and watch the next ryan johnson trilogy and you know, we're gonna do a spinoff fun. series about fucking palpatine's chair and all Ma- the, maz kanata is gonna host- get her own fucking movie and yeah all the i don't want to see maz kanata her eyes look like buttholes they yep. do they do they look like buttholes. Her whole she has fucking, butthole eyes. Yeah. Her whole oh what hey, is she? Keely Chow is in the chat. What's up, hey. Keely Chow? How you doing? Keely Chow, Keely Chow, Keely Chow. How much you want to bet that that Naomi Aki wow. is is that the uh, the young lady's name that's uh, making her debut in this? Um, I, I I'll bet you she's the LBGTQ alphabet person in this movie. Her and the Afro lady. That is isn't that isn't that the the lady with the afro's name Naomi Aki? Oh, the, I have no idea. The the black girl. I that's... saw, dude. I saw this. I saw the figure for her at Target, and I was like, dude, it looks like Domino from Deadpool two. She looks like Scary Spice. <laughs> hey, don't you don't you don't you talk about Mel B like that? Mel B's fine as hell. Mel B's <laughs> a freak, dude. She's crazy as shit, but she's fine. Yeah. Um, she's been in she love with her me. since like I've been in love with her since like nineteen ninety seven. Um. But no, man, this this movie is just it. This is them just taking everything from the last like 40 years plus the EU, which they decanonize. And now they're cherry picking and just cluster fucking it into the longest Star Wars movie ever and go, here you go. Here's the mystery box. Here's the end of the trilogy. That's that's exactly what they're doing. I mean, no, we're we were talking earlier this morning about like leaks saying that. Well, I guess it's rumors or something. I don't know. It's all fucking speculation, apparently, but it's not. But it is. I don't know. But apparently, the the leaks for the um, test screenings are not real. But I don't buy that. I at don't know all. what to believe anymore. That, that I, that might well, actually, it might actually be part of the campaign just to release as many fucking leaks as possible, so that everybody wants to go see it to see which one of these is actually right. Well, the pictures that were leaked that were real were of Ray and Kylo Ren with two blue Problem lightsabers. Is, I, I can't, I can't find enough fucks to even go out and see which one of them are real or not. I'm just wait. I'm waiting for the fandom menace uh, collective to spoil the shit out of this movie for me. Well, I'll be one of the first to spoil it for you because same, same right on. you go live when you come home and whichever you guys gets sees the movie first, you guys go live. I will jump on the stream and let you spoil the shit out of it for me. Yep, I'm one hundred percent. I see. honestly might just catch. Except, four oh shit! You know what? See, that's this comes out on the twentieth. So yep. yeah, I, I probably will not be able to live stream with you. I'll be out of town for two weeks. Well, I'll be doing it. I'll be seeing it on the nineteenth. So if I can get on Streamyard with my um. With my cell phone, I might do that. I might we, we might practice that off off air and see if that works. Yeah. I'm gonna go see it on the 20th. I have to wait till Friday night. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll be I'll probably be because you're not gonna be doing a show that night, are you, Groove? No, sir. Uh, be, for two gone. weeks, uh, yeah, yep. for two weeks, I'm not gonna be able to do any live streams because I just I won't be here. I, I can't live stream from my phone, and I'm not. Uh, I don't make enough YouTube money to uh, go out. I don't make any YouTube money, so <laughs> same here. I'm not going out and buying no laptop because I I can't swing it. I just I, cannot afford it. I need a few thousand more subscribers so I can go out and buy a laptop and stream from there. So yep. until that happens, not happening. Just gonna have to postpone it. For I'll be months. I'll be live streaming that Friday night. So right on. Okay. I will. Uh, I'll, well, I'll, I'll definitely watch you. Yeah. Yep. So if, if I can get Streamyard to work and I can get on yeah. the stream with you, we'll try it. Like Absolutely. You, you start it and I'll try it. Yeah. But if I can't if I can't make the audio work, I'll at least be in the chat and watch yep. the show. Because so. that'll be uh, Friday night. If it, God willing, it's playing at the theater by my house because to say if the movie's like two hours and I don't know forty minutes or whatever, if they they start all their shows at seven, I'll be home by quarter to ten. I don't so, leave until like six, I think six forty five p.m. the next day. So yeah, I, I could totally catch that okay. stream. I might be able to even stream with you, yeah, because if I'm here, then I, it's not getting on. It's not a problem. Yeah, if, if I'm, yeah, the twentieth. That's when you're going to see it on the twentieth yeah, Friday night. Okay. Friday night. So yeah, yeah, I'll be here Friday night. Yeah, because we don't leave till Saturday. So okay, yep, I'll be there. Awesome, I'll be there. Yeah, I will. Uh, 
I will I will fill the Friday night void that night uh, right. in in your absence with uh, <laughs> I'll fill her Friday night void too. Uh, Lozinga. Let's see. Uh, the point is that the red area could be the key point of contention in Star Wars Episode Nine, and based on the screenshot, it looks like the Resistance left. That's them over here, and the First Order Empire right could face each other head on for control of the hyperspace lane to Exegol. Oh God! Of course, that's assuming that this latest Star Wars leak is correct. And while we have no doubt Emperor Sheev Palpatine will play a role in the rise of Skywalker, the rest of the specifics are still a mystery. So maybe he really is hiding on some far off planet, only accessibly, only accessibly by a mysterious red portal. Only accessible. Do they not have editors? You know, uh, I did, did not know his name. Checking, did they check behind the couch? <laughs> probably right behind your subs that you lost um <laughs> i did not oh, know palpatine's name was sheev until just now and really? i think i was better oh, off i think i was better off not knowing his first name it, it was his dad's name and he stopped using it after he killed his family because he hated his father because his dad lacked the political uh ambition that uh palpatine she wanted him to have oh by um, the way here's a song that we can't get demonetized for Bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We will come rejoicing, bringing, bringing in, in the sheaves. The sheaves. <laughs> oh, this this. That's all line. I can think of when I see that. Bringing in the sheaves. Then again, this is a J.J. Abrams movie. Maybe it's just a really big lens flare. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be a kick in the nuts? It's just a fucking the lens, lens flare. flare of Star Wars. The whole movie's gonna be kicking the nuts. It's a bunch of bullshit. I <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there, and I uh, respect you, you for it, sir. It. That was a nice layup right there. You're yes, so, it was. So welcome. I uh, I fucking I don't know. Like, okay, so going into this movie, I literally have no expectations that it's going to be good whatsoever. None, not one. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to see it. I'm, I'm going to watch it. Yeah, right there. Oh God, I, I'm only going to watch this so I can finally, I can just rip on the shit. You know what I mean? Uh. Prop, proper. Um, that's why that's why I saw Charlie's Angels because I'm like if I'm gonna take the time to bash it I'm gonna go watch it same thing with Batwoman I'm suffering, um, but thank God they're on the mid they're on the mid season break there and now I get uh five five episodes of Crisis on oh Infinite they're doing Earth. that shit too now like they do with Walking Dead they do this the mid season bullshit well they're doing it because they're they're running that Crisis on Infinite Earth for the next five weeks so <sighs> there's no no Batwoman or uh or Supergirl on Sundays which. I don't watch Supergirl, and uh, you're gonna have like the 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 DTs, man. You gonna get withdrawal symptoms? No, I'm gonna review Crisis on Infinite Earths. Actually, I'm gonna oh, okay. watch it. Um, right they had a uh, they had a stinger in the credits of uh, Batwoman last week with uh, Harry Wells, um, a character from the Flash who is like the head of uh, Star sounds Labs. like a porno name. Yeah, it, it, Harry Wells. Trust me, it. Uh, yeah, it does. It does. It's like uh, you know Peter's Dragon, but uh, <sighs> that, was, that, was a, that was that was, that was a book I wrote called Tracks in the Sand by Peter's Dragon. But you know well, Peter let's, Tingle. Let's be with with today's trendiness, it would be like Fleshy Patch Wells. <laughs> oh. <Ew. laughs> but no, man. This this movie does like I, me and Cody. Don't, Sal, you're not going to watch this, are you? Absolutely not. Okay. Sal's going to see. Sal's going to go see cats. He's going to see cats. Absolutely not. <laughs> Adam's like, I got a free. I got movie pass. I ain't going to watch fucking cats. I'm I'm about to go watch the back of my eyelids. That's yeah. <laughs> I uh, I I I told you I will stream. I will watch cats. Um, and I will review it. I will. I will. I will suffer. Is it that? Is that the movie that's coming out alongside of Star Wars? Is cats and stuff? Yep. Isn't Jumanji coming out that week too? Mm, the week yes, before yes. i'll be honest with you i'd rather sit through cats and jumanji than to sit through this star wars movie at least Jumanji's gonna be badass i mean right I really, and that, that movie's gonna be fun like, like cats like i'm not expecting much like with star wars it's just everything's gonna make me angry and yep. irritate and give me a headache and i'm gonna leave in a bad mood you know uh with cats i could probably laugh through the whole thing because you know i like i like yep. a lot of bad movies just because they're like yeah laughably bad so that my, I might get that kind of a reaction out of it and Jumanji I still need to see the first one but I it looks like a good time and honestly I could stare at uh, Karen Gyllenhaal freaking day 
like all day. That is a beautiful woman. Word up. Yup. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how we did this, but we mysteriously lost four likes. <laughs> uh, <well. laughs> They're next to your subs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube. Actually, speaking of nothing at all, um, YouTube has sent out a message. I don't know if you guys have seen that or not. But they're going to start scrubbing, quote, inactive accounts. So people that have YouTube accounts that haven't logged in or used it in months. There goes half my audience right there. They're, they're going to delete all those people. Months yeah. or years? Uh, the same years thing they did with no Facebook. Because at one point, my Facebook, I had my Facebook up to like almost 400 people. And then uh, they did that scrubbing the inactive accounts thing and dropped me down to like 200. And start Jeez. all over again. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, yeah. you know, if they're going to do that, at least that'll get rid of my old YouTube account. Social media, they found a way to fuck it all up for everybody. God damn, man. Mm -hmm. It's yep. just, I mean, in the so words our, of our, our crawl fair. to like a thousand is going to just take like so, like infinitely longer. Yep. Hey, we got we got six people watching right now. If you haven't if you haven't hit the like button yet, there was twelve likes on there, and now there's eight. Yay. It was seven, and now it's six, and back to eight again hit the like button for me and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when the uh when the videos go live and we stream um and do that for every single channel goober brothers entertainment raiders of lost flicks and two cents toys because youtube is really screwing with us right now and it's 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 hampering our growth it's war, it's war i tell you war. this is this is this is bullshit should have same set of the rules for everyone um but no, so I, I'm I'm not. I have no anticipation about this movie. And then it's back. I just look over. It's back up to ten likes again. So hey, thank you everybody. If you just listened to me and hit the like button, thank you very much. Sounds like somebody's honey dicking you. I, I'm telling you, man. I'm uh, oh, fuck. Anyway, no. So Rise of Skywalker. This is this is gonna. I'm looking. I'm looking more forward to watching the holiday special Saturday night. Hell yeah. On uh, on Raiders of Lost Flicks. Than, uh, than I am going to see the rise of Soywalker, but like I said, the the beautiful thing out of the rise of Skywalker will be uh, the videos that uh, that we get to make from these. So I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, guys, get ready for more Star Wars content than I've uh, than I've because uh, the Star Wars holiday special has three three advantages over um, Rise of Skywalker. It has B Arthur, mm -hmm. okay. It has Lumpy, <laughs> and it yeah. has Jefferson Starship. So you don't get any better than that. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. I I really like Jefferson Starship. So and and I'm good with that. And I was a Golden Girls fan. So B. Arthur's all right. Only you believe in miracles. Here's oh, the thing. I've never seen the holiday special all the way through, but I know that Luke Skywalker looks like Donald Trump in this fucking movie. Well, <laughs> get your ass over to my channel this weekend yep. and watch it with us, and you go, you're about to have a good time. I'm uh, I'm scared to watch that all the way through. Well, well watch holiday it. special. It'll be. Yeah. We'll make it fun. We'll Just drink fun. and drink with your girlfriend and watch it. It's so bad. It's like it, it's it's more enjoyable to watch it with people because you just you're like yep. you're you'll constantly be telling yourself like they made this like people actually spent money and made this and aired it live uh, actually yeah oh yeah you can't uh, yeah you, a Star Wars themed variety show that's one you buy you well, buy it on DVD like you can buy it can. Were... You can buy it at conventions because I know it's like public domain, which is why I'm not worried about showing it. But you can buy it like people have pressed it to DVD and you can buy it like conventions and stuff like that. All the videos that are uploaded on YouTube are like all from those region free DVDs that you can buy at these conventions. Huh. So, yep. Yeah, you can buy it. Better not be porn. <laughs> you hope. You want to see Lumpy getting it out of B. Arthur? There's lots of Star Wars porn out there. B. Alan Orange? <laughs> or so I've heard. <laughs> if it has Twilight, I'm down. Uh yeah. Dude, I've uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Darth man. Uh, what's her name? What's the Darth Talon. Yeah, that one. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Any mm -hmm. any Twilight. Yep. Uh, you I, can you can buy like uh those headdress things on like Etsy and shit. Uh and I, I've almost bought one and been like, J -j -j just wear it for me. Just, just put, do it. Tell your girlfriend <laughs> to put it on. You put bastard. this on. on. Please. Are you, you did you buy her an Ula outfit too? Oh my mm. god. Did you That's buy her awesome. an Ula outfit, I, Sal? I, I draw the line at outfits because it shit ends up on the floor anyway. Yeah. So like they're like, oh I bought this. I'm like, that's gonna be cute for the next 13 seconds. <laughs> yeah, if you pause the video just right, the DVD 
there's a costume mm-hmm. fail by Ula there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's been there since the original release, and they have not cut it out yet. Nope. God bless you, George Lucas, for not making that change. You know the actress that played her still looks relatively yes. uh, relatively yeah. good, She's too. very well kept. Yeah. She has aged Believe- very well. Yep. Believe it or not, um, they expanded her scene a little bit. Like They had to reshoot it uh, for the special editions that came out yep. in what was it, the mid-90s. They used the and same actress. The yeah. Same actress. So that's how well she kept herself. Like yep. 15, 17 years later, <sighs> looked the same. That's actually one of my one of the most prized possessions is that she never had a toy until the 90s Power of the Force 2 line, and they released her as a mail-away exclusive. Yep, I, well, have, I have that. In, uh, I have her. I have her yeah. inbox autographed by the actress. Oh, damn. Nice. You have oh, an that's autographed cool. one. Okay, that's yeah. fucking cool. But I do have that action figure. I had to have it. I'm like, oh. No do you smell it at here. night? I just... say, yep. And we'll say that. We'll call it. We'll say, I smell it. That's what we'll say. I just have size noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. Isn't he the? No, it's Droopy McCool. Yeah, slice noodles? Droop, droopy McCool. Is I, I have the old size noodles band and the new size noodles band. I only, I only have they, one they, of the They figures. change size noodles quite a bit with a special mm-hmm. edition. Link Elect like, 7, I'm going to put this comment up there because you damn right. This is black don't crack, baby. Yep. Fat don't crack either. Come at me. <laughs> it just jiggles. Faux show. Sure. Right. Like my boobs when I go over a speed bump. <laughs> like me when I walk. <laughs> I'm out of breath walking from here to the kitchen. I'm so out of shape. It ain't even funny. Um, no, man. That yeah, she did though. That 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 lady, she looked amazing in the uh in the special edition because yeah, they redid that. Yep. That's the one I think I have on the on the Blu-ray. I'm not sure. You didn't like the big girl in the back? Uh, dancer? The I'm good. I'm good. Handsome. The one that's got about nine titties? I'm good yeah. without Amy Schumer. No, that was Amy Schumer making a guest appearance in Star Wars. I'm good with that. Or, or two titties and just several rolls or something? <laughs> yeah. Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. It's an utter. Yeah. It's an utter. <laughs> It's an utter. She's that's where they got the idea from that sea cow for uh Yeah, first I thought that's Jedi. who it was. I'm like, oh, they got her back from Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Shit, yeah, Ryan Johnson milked that bitch. I thought she was in Jabba's Palace. <laughs> mm, soy milk. We need right. a we need to Beautiful. read we need to read the uh the fan fiction that Ryan Johnson stole from and just That'd be a good compare idea. Compare them. That would be a good idea. If we get That'd a hold be- of that. Like I don't want to watch The Rise of Skywalker, but if we could just compare the two, that would be kind of a good episode. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm fin- Like, when, when did, uh, when did the, the Last Jedi come out? That came out around the same time Rise of Skywalker is coming out, didn't it? Like two years ago, was it about the same yeah. time? Unfortunately, December seventeenth, I think it was. Who wants, who wants to do a Last Jedi watch party? Hell no. <laughs> oh. You know what? Honestly, I, I, uh, my Blu-ray. I, I love you, Pete, but not, 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 not that much. Oh, I, I, much. I would watch. I would watch Captain Marvel before I watch fucking Last Jedi. I've again. seen the Last Jedi twice. I saw it once in the theater, and then once on the World Class Bullshitters Watch Party, and that was enough. That was I've, I've seen enough. it. I've seen it probably a handful of times, and literally, I took, uh, I took my Blu-ray of wow, that. You really the, are a masochist, then, dude. You got like issues. Well, my my kid, dude, my kid wanted to watch it, so oh. I, I I took it away though. It is, uh, <laughs> it's. I took that and the Force Awakens. Hide I, your eyes. You're not supposed to watch this. I, I pitched him out in the garage, and uh, it came. I'm, it came out I'm, December December fifteenth. Sorry. Okay, that's all right. Uh, Alex says, "Fuck no, we, we ain't doing no, a watch party." Yeah, yeah. I, I was. That was that was sarcasm, man. No, I, I threw him out my garage because literally I've been saying. Want to lose some more subs, Pete? Keep talking. Keep nope. talking about a life. I'm probably down to. I'm probably down to like, Yeah, last Jedi watch party. No, I'm down uh-uh. to like five subscribers now. Um, I uh, I got. Uh, I'll, I'll sit through uh, Unicorn Store again before I sit through that. Yeah, you know, as bad Ew. as that was. I heard that Unicorn. was awful. It was fucking it terrible. Terrible. It was fucking you, you know terrible. that that actually came out this year. It, it, it wasn't really released this year. I think it had like a twenty. Uh, 16 2015 release date unicorn just, store yeah yeah they shelved it for two years they shelved it yeah because it was so bad so it. they thought that netflix thought oh well you know brie larson's real big because she's in a marvel movie now mm-hmm. so we'll throw this shit out and so yeah if you look at it, it's got like a 2015 but it, it came out on netflix this year like yep. right after captain marvel well, that's the same thing with that movie they tried to bury of hers bismati blues oh man that you, you know what i'm kind of 
secretly want to see that just to see how much of a train wreck it is. Oh, well, it's the whole like, you know, how she's, you know, virtue signaling and exactly. she cares about representation. Well, that's yeah. like she is the whole white savior trope, you know? Yep. That's that's kind of why I want to see how how she because yep. because that's exactly how she perceives herself. She's like the savior of the universe, you know. Uh, no nobody ever did anything good until she came along. So, yep. oh, yeah. Linkalex Seven, here's a good comment. He says, "I'd rather watch Ghostbusters 2016 than the Last Jedi." And you know, I actually just I'd watched do that watch party. Yeah, I do. I that would watch. Party. I would watch Ghostbusters 2016 again because I would it, mystery science theater the yep. shit out of that movie. It's dude. it's not it's not offensive to me like the Last no. Jedi is. <laughs> Um, it's just fucking stupid. Yeah, it's 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 just a waste of time for everybody yep. involved. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and that that if you have you guys you guys have all seen that right? Twenty sixteen. Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, Cody, Sal, have you guys seen that one? Yeah, uh, I saw what? it. The Ghostbusters, the the chick Ghostbusters. All people Ghostbusters. I I avoided that like a fucking train. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That you know what? Fuck this, dude. We're gonna do this real quick here before we before we go off the air. I, I'm gonna show you exactly why. If, if if I can find it here, let me find this clip real quick because I didn't plan on doing this. Yeah. What's that? The movie. Yeah. Uh, let's see the 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 end of the movie. The dance number is the one to cut. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Holy shit. All the things to cut, like you really should have just left the dance number and cut everything else. <laughs> that, and and what's his name? I mean, this is this is the stupidest, fucking just piece of garbage. All right, let's see here. Wait, what are you talking about? You oh you're you, you gonna learn today? Okay. This is this is from Ghostbusters 2016. Take this me to is, school, Pete. I'm going to brother. This is uh, class is in session. This is the character of uh where we got the name Kevin Thor. Because Chris Hemsworth is is dumb fuck in this movie, and the only reason he is in it is because you know, uh, if he doesn't watch, you better get himself a better agent or something. Man. You know, your, your career in Hollywood can disappear pretty fast if you have a couple. He's of quickly of he's quickly becoming like I don't know, like Steve Gutenberg. Um, I wonder yeah, if he's ever seen this movie. Gutenberg, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know this. Okay, so this is this is what his character, who's possessed by this ghost. Uh, does to humiliate the police and everything okay so he can square off with the the ghostbusters here we go in times square the effects in the scene are fucking horrible green lantern beefcake hello Oh dear, brave men and women of the protection services industry. Yeah. I would like to see you dance. Is this in the original cut? Yeah. That's what? Your Blu ray extra. Yep. It's like a Zumba class. Yep. You imagine all the poor people that had to do this and get the shit right so they could put it in the movie. I would have walked over and bitch slapped off the This had to at least be a good six hours of shit in here. Yep. Uh, women always late. But we couldn't decide which dirty jumpsuit to wear. Well, let's give them a proper New York welcome, shall we? Welcome to the glory days of New York City. Have fun! <laughs> Dooby dooby doo, where, where are, are you? you? Got some work to do now. Oh my God! So that that right there is uh is is the uh last scene from. Ugh, yeah, that. Uh, uh, excuse me. It sounded like they use the same music from the Scooby Doo movies. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I can't believe I got Ghostbusters 2016 on this podcast. I'm going to hell for this. Ha, Link Alex Seven. Hemsworth sucks as an actor, except in Snow White. I haven't seen that one yet. It's dumb, but it didn't anger me. I can poke fun at Ghostbusters 2016 about my blood pressure rising. Same here, man. Yeah, it, I didn't get as offended by that because no. it, it's, it's like I. I knew what it was, and I was like, oh, "Whatever," you know. I, I just wasn't that upset about it, you know. This that Leslie right Jones here. chick's annoying as hell. 
remember this movie and this scene is responsible for Thor Ragnarok. Never forget. <laughs> um, yep. That's, that's about it, man. Um, God damn. The CGI is not even scary. No, the CGI in the 1984 version was better than, uh, was right. better than that. People, people forget that this is the problem with most people remaking movies is they, they don't understand what made the original work. What made the original work in 1984 is the fact that you had scary special effects as yep. if it was an actual horror movie, but then you had all this slapstick humor by, you know, all these SNL alumni. Mm-hmm. So it worked just because before that, that kind of thing hadn't been done before. Now, since Ghostbusters, they've done the hell out of it and back. But that was like a new concept at the time. It's like, oh, it's scary, but it's also funny. Wow. And just yep. because you're on SNL doesn't mean you're funny. You have to actually be true. Leslie yeah. Jones. Yeah. Leslie Jones. God damn. Leslie you know, Jones has never said one funny thing that I've ever heard in my entire life. And that one other chick, the blonde lady. Which is oh, actually Kristen, kinda, Kristen actually kinda hot. Kristen no. Wig. Kate McKinnon. No. Kate yeah, McKinnon. that one. Kate She's McKinnon. a lesbian. She oh. it, that's that's the uh yeah she's the one that she's the one that's uh, the lesbian out of the all she does is act like she's high through the entire movie like, she's yep. the only funny one in that movie and that, yeah she's, she's not even she's, funny in that movie her, her whole just, character arc is like she's like on shrooms or something she's honestly yeah. the only funny person out of that group like she's, I like Kristen Wiig I don't I, really like her I, I like Kristen, Kristen Wiig does some funny things yeah. yep I think I think she's decent like she was good in Bridesmaids which is another I, I, Paul Feig movie I don't oh, like, I forgot uh, about that movie. I watched it with the wife. It's 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 not bad. Um, all things I like considered, it. It, it's not a bad movie. I like it uh, enough. Yep. Uh, let's see. The only effect in the original movie that aged badly was the dog chasing Lewis. The rest aged well. You are right, uh, Link yep. X Seven. That is that is the one part of that movie that did not age well, but it you still know what looks aged really well. Ula. Oh, other than Ula, is uh, when uh, Sigourney Weaver's titty pops out. Hmm. Yes. When she's Who's in the chair and all those hand when she's in the chair and all those hands pop out. One one like sure pulls her titty out for like half a second. Cool. Huh. Yep. Cool. Yeah, go back and watch it. Nice. Oh, well, God damn it, point. Sal. I fucking I, I have that on Blu-ray. I've seen that movie like a fucking million times. I've never noticed that. Yep, just uh like if you watch when she's in the chair and the hands come out, one straight up just grabs her boob. And then, like, rips her shirt down for literally half a second before it goes, like, flying towards the refrigerator. Really? Oh. All right, I'm going to have to yeah. watch that scene in slow motion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got spare time. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Link Elect 7, not going to lie. I like Kate in Ghostbusters 2016. Wig is a good actress. Ghostbusters wasn't her fault. I think she'll make a great cheetah. Yeah, I forgot they cast her as cheetah. Um, Kristen Wig. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's not, uh, that's he says time to go watch Ghostbusters again. My sentiments exactly, brother. I got that on uh, my DVR, so I'm gonna check that out. Um, yeah, that, uh, Kristen Wig cast as Cheetah. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, you know, it's, it's gonna be CGI mocap stuff for her, and she's, she's a good enough actress. Like I said, she's, she's got some, I, she does have some comedic chops, but like Bridesmaids, the thing that killed that movie was Melissa McCarthy. She's just not funny. Yeah, she kills everything. Yeah, she, all she does is she's just the female version of uh, Kevin Smith. It's yep. just the same shit he does. Yep. Yeah. You know, Look at me, I'm fat. Blah blah blah. You yeah, know, I think she, I think she boom. lost. Yeah, I think she, fatty fall down, go boom. You know, you got another one. This is Rebel Wilson's the same fucking yep. way. It's like I'm funny because I'm fat. <laughs> yep. Yeah. At least Rebel Wilson, if she if you close your eyes and just listen to her talk, her accents all right, and then you open your eyes and like, oh god damn it. It's a heffalump. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a heffalump. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, on that note of misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which. We should have let Goober done his, his bit left last so we could have had a good laugh on the way out. Well, I got one for you here. There's one more screen share I'm going to do here, and I forgot to include this in my we Black Widow. We a joke because we're all depressed now. I forgot okay. to add this in my in my Black Widow video. If you can see the screen here. I'll so, be the closer next week. Oh, there I, you go. Yep. I, I made this uh last night with the intention of putting it in my video as you know one of my uh, one of my screens. But okay, so this was last night at around, I don't know, like probably 10 30 11 o'clock uh the black widow official teaser trailer from the marvel site 14 million views eight hundred thirty three thousand likes eighteen thousand downvotes. cat pan mediocre 
Okay, that trailer is released September 18th of 2018. 58 million views, 1.1 million likes, 101,000 downvotes. Okay. You want to know what it's at now for Black Pit, Black Widow? Yeah, I do actually. Um, it's at 24 million views, <laughs> 1.2 million likes, 31,000 thumbs down. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. It's already passed Captain Marvel for likes, and it's going to pass her for views probably in the next two or three days. And then let me look at the Captain Marvel update. It's probably not much different. But... Yeah, but that, like I said, that was just that that speaks right there on number one, the actress. Number two, how they conduct themselves. Number three, your marketing. I mean, look look at just look at the picture. Of, I mean, this is this is America's ex wife, and this is you the know one you it chased, almost you makes me wish, life. wish that uh, right it makes me wish that Monty Python was still around because like that face of Brie Larson, I want just want somebody to take that and like move the bottom jaw up and down and have her say mm -hmm. a bunch of bullshit, and then I want to see like uh, a bird or something fly out of her mouth. That would be <laughs> hilarious. You know? Well, she does have bats in her belly, like, like, like sure. a like a flying elephant or something. You know, just some of that like ridiculous Monty Python cartoon humor. Yep. Well, that is that is uh, Brie Larson is ridiculous and cartoony. Uh, let's, Truth. Let's see that moment when people were walking out of the Titanic in the original Ghostbusters is spooky. Yeah, that was always a cool scene, man. There was um there was a lot of uh, a lot that's of stuff. From, in that. uh, yeah, go, that's for actually from Ghostbusters too, isn't it? The Titanic just pulled in. Yeah. Yeah. That was yep. That was Ghostbusters too. Yeah. I think, I think wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because that's when. Uh, when they're they're um they're kind of redeeming themselves and they're catching all like uh they use the trap on the runner and stuff like that. Was yep. Or two. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I get them that mixed up sometimes. Well. No. Yeah, it was before they found the wreckage and didn't know that the ship had cracked in half. Mm -hmm. so, That's right. Still, yeah. Still has a nice effect to it. They watch them all crawl out of the the hole. Yep. So. When I say, oh, Leo Red says, when I say original, I'm just, I'm just saying not the 2016 version. Absolutely, bro. We got you. We got you, man. Um, yeah, that, that, like I said, we can, if, if you guys want to, I, I would not be opposed to doing that and just, uh, kind of shredding that movie. Um, if you want to do a watch party on that one. Yeah. I, I'll do that before I do, uh, the last Jedi. I'm not yeah. sent through last Jedi. The next yeah. time you see, you see me handle my copy of the last Jedi will be, um, when I strap it to the uh, the target board and I and I light the up, light it, light it up the, with some five five six rounds. The only the only caveat to Ghostbusters twenty sixteen is I I one hundred percent refuse to have to pay any money to watch that movie. So hopefully you can find it. Yep. Because I'm not buying it. I, the only reason I even saw it before is is on HBO. And I, at, the, at the time I had HBO and I'm just like, all right, I'll see what all the fuss is about. I'm like, wow. Most of the drama was around the movie rather than the movie itself. The movie was just a very mediocre, unfunny yep. comedy. Yeah, it, it was. It was all Paul Feig, but with, you know, with some super terrible special effects, like really yes. ab abysmally bad, like like early two thousand level special effects. Yep, and I and I will say this: um, I, I really do feel bad i don't like leslie jones but i really do feel bad for some of the shit that she dealt with on twitter like saying somebody is is a shitty actress or whatever is not funny is one thing but the shit that, that woman went through I, I will say that's that's indefensible that that's it was abhorrent and you know that that like i said you can you can attack the movie all you want you know but that's that's the same thing like the the personal and and racial shit that got thrown her you know i I don't condone that garbage, but well, that's, no, that's the thing that we, we kind of try to do this, at least our little group of people yep. here. It's like, you know, I, I know that we've kind of bonded together over our hatred over a certain particular star Wars movie or movies, but yep. it doesn't mean we hate everything. No, and we don't, we don't hate the movie enough to go attack people. We're not no. just like a, a freaking hate group that no. is, is, is put here on earth because we think it's cool or hip to just go out and assault people like we're smart enough to know that they're just actors and they're not responsible you know it was despite whatever dumb thing they say on twitter yep they're still just working with the script that was given to them you know yeah. it, it, it if you want to be angry be angry at the heads up in charge and the only way to to get your message through to them is to just not pay for this stuff just don't yep. go see it don't buy it don't buy it. You don't like something. Don't buy it. I know it sounds dumb and it's not quite as, as fun as going out and, you know, 
assaulting people on Twitter or whatever <laughs> might not be, be more satisfying to you, but if you just let them know with your wallets that you're not interested, it has a, a more negative impact on them. Look what happened to Terminator Dark Fate. Oof. That that's a, that's a win for the culture war right there. Nobody, and I mean nobody, saw that movie. SJWs didn't defend it. Critics didn't defend it. People didn't defend it. And nope. No one liked Charlie's Dangle either. Nope. nope. Charlie's Angels was another one. So that's the best way to do it Charlie's is to just Angels. say, I'm not interested. Instead of going and seeing those movies, go back and see the one that you like. You thought Joker was good? Still out to movie theater? Hey, go see that again. And actually this week, Charlie's Angels departed from more theaters than Joker did. Oh, she opened. Charlie's Angels left 296 theaters and Joker departed from 240. 64 after nine weeks charlie's angels has been in the cinema for three <laughs> where, where, that's where. the cinematic equivalent of a wet fart right there and the problem the problem with that is the problem with charlie's angels is elizabeth banks failed upward they gave her another movie they gave her the the invisible woman movie oh <laughs> i mean it's like, yeah, you're right and direct well, and star keep, in this. Keep talking shit. See if anybody wants to come see your stuff. That's the other thing, too, is these people need to learn how to conduct themselves out in public. If you just want to spout vile and hatred and blame people, you know, blame the very people that you said what this movie was against for not supporting your movie. Uh, duh. You know, it. good luck with your next one, you know? Yep. And I think the Invisible Woman will be probably just as bad as Charlie's Angels. Yep, here's Link Alex Seven. You get what you fucking deserve, Elizabeth Banks. Yep. <laughs> and I just a, said underneath that, enter you, Arthur Fleck. Your your Elizabeth Banks is uh, embarking on her second career as a meme. Yep. And, the, and like I said, that's the thing is she's not really a bad actress. Um, I mean, she's been in some decent. I movies. didn't even know who she was before Charlie's Angels. Oh, really? With you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know who the hell she was. I've seen her in you know all the Judd Apatow movies, and she was actually. See, I don't watch those. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I used to. Uh, I don't. You know, it's. I don't know if he's released anything in a couple of years, but I mean, I've got it, really bizarre standards when it comes to comedies, man. You know, like I'll, really... I'll, I'll, I'll watch anything, but you know, I'm gonna shred it if I don't like it. Yeah. Um, you know. Uh, but no, I thought she was she was decent in those movies. Um, and she was in the Wet Hot American Summer Netflix show. I did see that. That was good. I yeah. loved I loved that movie. And that the, was good. The, yeah. the series was great. And I think they even did like a second season of it. So didn't see the series, but I did see the movie and I I, I enjoyed every minute of that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think this is a uh she was Betty Hail. Brant. And she was Betty Brant in the Raimi Spider Man movies. Yeah, and that's Link Alex. That was what was, was so funny when she fucking started ripping. Well, you've got 37 Spider Man movies. Well, bitch, you were in three of them and you made a pretty penny off it, and that put your face out there before you were really anybody. So yeah. And she was granny panties. Yep. And Zach and Miriam make a porno. Yeah. And Such a great was, movie. Uh, weird chick with all the makeup and the hair in the hunger games oh that's right yep all right well ladies and gentlemen we have been roll we've rolled way over what i wanted to do tonight and in the interest of uh of everybody else on the panel i am going to we're, we're going to take it home right now i'm going to send it down to salvador and then we'll go to uh cody we'll end with we'll let groove go after that and uh, everybody go ahead and plug your stuff salvador you take it away uh, I am the aforementioned Don of Two Cents Toys. I run a toy channel where I review lots of toys, and I have, as you saw earlier in the stream, lots of stuff to catch up on. I am currently in the process of moving domiciles, so it will be a hot minute before I can actually get a... If I do a review, I want to do it right. I don't like slapping shit together. But sometimes those slap shit together videos get more likes and views. I don't understand it, but it's fine. But, um... So, uh, content is kind of on hold until around the 15th or the 20th of this month, and then I'm going to start cranking them out like fucking, you know, a teenage boy. And I <laughs> have run out of things to say, and I'm rambling. Off to you, Cody. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can, you know, I don't know if I can do better than that, but, you know, with the whole teenage boy thing and everything, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> But anyways, everybody go subscribe to Goober Brothers Entertainment. Um, next week, I think it's, I think the show's on my channel next week, or is it on Adams? Um, or is it on yours, Sal? It's on yours, Sal, right? 
No, I, I, I don't host because Sal don't can't host. host. Yep. Yeah. It's schedule. Yeah. So, so yeah. I think it's you. I think it's back to you. Uh, yeah, we're in, it, it with me, Cody, Adam. Yep. Okay. So back I to you next week. Cody's week. Every week I miss Cody's week. Every time. Boo. That's all right. Yeah. We'll get you one day. One, one of these times I'll make it in. Yep. And if it is Mike's muted again. Boo. <laughs> And That's back on. Yeah, I, I should be able to. Let's see if I, if my math is correct. A month from tomorrow, I'll should I should be able to make it on your channel. Yay! All right, all right. Sounds good. Something to look forward to, and it's not a mystery box. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, go subscribe to Goober Brothers Entertainment. Especially, go subscribe to Etep Coins to play Spear Reviews and Raiders of the Lost Flicks and Two Cent Toys. <gasps> yes. <laughs> also i'm doing a raffle on my channel uh if you guys want to enter it's five bucks you donate to saint jude's hospital uh if you go online do na- donate five bucks over there saint jude's screenshot that you donated send it to my instagram page at goober brothers entertainment and that way you will be entered into a raffle to win a copy a blu-ray copy of fanboys a blu-ray copy of uh crimes of grindelwald and also a six inch darth vader black series hell yeah Boom. And I'll be on World Class Bullshitters later this month. Boom. Hell yeah. So moving up like George and Wheezy. That's right. Oh, I need another beer. Okay, your turn, Adam. Raiders of Lost Flicks dot com is where you go. That's where you see all of our links to social media and all of our videos and everything. Uh join us Friday night. Uh Pete, MJ, myself. And Alex will be there. We'll be talking about The Irishman from Net- Netflix. Or, and uh, we'll be talking about Playmobil, the movie. That's the oh one that God. I got to go see. <laughs> and then your uh, right. Dark Water starring Mark Ruffalo. And uh, <laughs> um, God, what the hell's her name? I, the other I can't actress. remember. Anne Hathaway. Anne there Anne. we go. I knew I'd come to me eventually. We'll be talking about those. Uh, and then, of course, the, the very next day on Saturday, 30 p.m., we'll be doing the Star Wars holiday special. So make sure you check that. If you live in another country and you're not able to watch that, if you join my Facebook group, I'll be streaming that movie all day on Facebook as well, just so that everybody can watch the horror that is the Star Wars holiday special. But if you want the big show, the live commentary where we do our best impression of Mystery Science Theater riff tracks, make sure your ass is there. Sorry, it doesn't cost you anything. Just join me on YouTube. Be there on my channel. That's RaidersOfLostFlix.com. Boom right. roasted. <laughs> Stanley, your heart sucks and you crush your wife during sex. Boom roasted. Andy, <laughs> Cornell called. And they said you suck and you're gayer than Oscar. Boom, roasted. <laughs> <laughs> I can go through that whole goddamn scene, but I won't because it's late. I'm Etepo Kui, the place to be reviews. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're up to 123 subs right now. It'll probably drop like by 15 by the end of my sentence. But, uh, and you know, the likes in the video will go up and down 75 and I'll be at negative. Um, but anyway, subscribe to the channel. Uh, go over. We got a Facebook group, uh, it's a private group. I got my admins over there set to get you vetted and get you in. That's uh, the official place to be reviews fan page. We also have a regular page you can follow where we post links to all the videos, memes, all that fun stuff. That is the place to be reviews. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram at the place to be reviews. You can also follow my personal Twitter account at N80 Pete. If you don't mind me following, uh, if you don't mind following me as I troll Anita Sarkeesian and uh, countless other morons from my personal Twitter account. That is, uh, no, that's, I just, I had to because it was about the Mandalorian and nobody, nobody needs to mention that name ever again because she's worthless. So subscribe, enjoy the content. And please next week, remember 830 Eastern, 730 Central time. The boardroom is on Guru Brothers Entertainment. So if you're not subscribed and haven't hit the bell for notifications over there, you should do that. And you should definitely do that with Raiders of the Lost Flicks, Two Cent Toys, I am your host, E. Tapakui, into the place to be reviews. I have been here with all of yous. That is so cheesy. It should come with fries and a shake. Make no mistake. I will see you again on the flip side tomorrow with another video. Yay. Check out everybody's content. Good night, everybody. This has been episode four of the boardroom. Thank you, Link Elect Seven, Leo Red, uh, Ryan Cannell from RK Outpost for stopping by. Uh, who else did we have up here? Keely Chow dropped in and said hello. 
Uh, let's see. Brian Lape was in the house. So thank you, everybody. And this has been episode four. I am out of here. Have a great day. And if I don't see you, a pleasant tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Hope you find your dad. <laughs> Bye, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>